Okay, where is he? Terror of the Deep. Weak to lightning. Oh, he's so colorful. My little Oliver. Attacking the water cells it creates will pop them. A monstrous aquatic creature that lives off the coast of Junon it possesses a buoyancy that allows it to swim at high speeds through both water and air. It ingests seawater and then expels it with explosive force to stun prey. Holy crap. That's gonna be me. I did. I did reset side quests and I hate it. I hate looking at my empty map. Okay, weak to lightning. Alright! We're so ready for Terror of the Deep. And then we will do our side quest Where did that for the manuscript. Even come from, you think? There's a story about a great condor said to roost on the island's abandoned reactor. Though there's no longer any way to reach the isle. Or at least none that I'm aware of. Yeah. Can Red Haste any everyone else? Well, even if we could get there, I'd rather not bother. It didn't seem very friendly. Agreed. Let's focus on where we can go. Okay, are they done talking? I believe they're done talking, so we could just... Aliyoop! So all of this is Junon? Everything above us. Below is under Junon. Little more than an impoverished I did start. fishing village. <laughs> Figures. Shinra's always gotta have someone stump on. It's their friggin' M.O. Their M.O. How about YouTube's M.O. where it doesn't work when I hit start stream? Yeah, Zark, that's what I try to do too. So far it's been a pretty fruitful endeavor. YouTube doesn't want to work. Oh my god, this YouTube streaming is the worst. Anyway, I don't know, if it's not working, it's not working, sorry. <laughs> sorry if you're watching this VOD later and you're like, what the heck? I didn't see this live, because YouTube didn't want to work. Hey, so that, that second doc, right? You, you've seen that doc, the one that's like further away from us? Vincent is there later. Later. <laughs> Oh, or she was there now, so I could just be peeping on him. He's gonna like, he's gonna stand there. We're gonna still be here, and then we're gonna see him turn his head, and then he'll just see us scurrying away from, from the edge. He'll be like, I think I'm being watched. Has stairs that lead to a rock wall? Does it? That's it. You guys know purpose. It really doesn't have purpose, cause like the only way to get there is to swim there. That's why Vincent went there. My crush. I mean, my ma my marriage, <laughs> Vincent. Hey, YouTube. Why is my stream not working? Huh? Am I going for the platinum? I'm attempting, but it seems pretty difficult. Batman's doc, he had the door. He shrugged. Maybe that's where we get the hidden wall. Like in Nibelheim? He's gonna bark in the hallway, don't you worry. Oliver, why isn't the YouTube stream working? Anyway, I'm just sitting here pretending Vincent's here. Childish fiasco. I don't know why I read that as childfish in my head at first. Thanks for two months. Thanks for re-upping. Yeah, remake part one, I feel like, or part one, platinuming that was like more time consuming. Cause there was like, you had to play through the game so many times for the dresses. This is just like, here's some challenges, whether you like it or not. I don't know guys, it's not working. I'm not gonna bother with it. I'll try one more time, but 
It was just fun watching me actually react to Vincent on screen. What you what do you mean imagine? Am I like Cloud? <laughs> I'm like Cloud where he sees Aerith everywhere now. I'm just gonna see Vincent everywhere. He's there! I know he is. Oh, is it working? I don't know. It says it's there. It's working. It's just super repetitive in the post game. It's such a pain in the ass. I know that game really needed a proper chapter select. One moment. This is even in the game. It's yours. You can't take that away from me. Welcome to Under Junon, our sunless oasis. My name is Rhonda. My name is Broden. I'm the mayor and sheriff around these parts. Everyone just has Broden here. Hmm. What? Avalanche, huh? That depends on who's asking. A woman who could turn you in and be everyone's a secret valentine i'm on chapter four well you know what they say can't take it with you Mwah. but i still have to finish the, the mini games and Aerith to boot huh that's another half a million on top don't act like you know us half a million? miss valentine <laughs> down here though we know when to turn a blind eye. Consider our lips sealed. I we Sorry, watched all the dates. All bullshit. Well, but, yeah, I, I might make other my cannon route. Half of what my town's been through. You don't like it? Leave. But over there, there's a quiet little inn where everyone's welcome. Jesse's mother. Any guys in black robes pass through? Do you think Grimoire Valentine Not got with? Saw. Jesse's Did mom. see some black suits though. Hi, Two guys and a girl. Looked pretty tough. Well, well. They made a beeline right for the elevator. Not well, Reno. No, don't even think about it. In case it isn't obvious, upstairs is Shinra turf, and the same goes for the elevator as well. Don't ask me what. But the company's got something big planned up there, and security is tight. You start anything? Anything at all? And there will be consequences. Girl! Oh, it's the 15th anniversary, Fire Friend, eh? Oh shit. Happy 15th anniversary, it's one of my favorite Resident Evil games. The 15th anniversary for <laughs> a month's death. <laughs> Don't care what she said. There's got to be black robes around here somewhere. So how are we gonna find them? That would depend. It does just feel like headed. yesterday. If they mean to continue Good west, boy, Red. there are only two ways off this continent: by sea or by air. Right. Might want to ask around town then. Locals will know routes not on the map. May have even seen stragglers pass through. Or got boats for rent or something. How about we meet at the inn when we're done? Sounds good. And remember, low profile. Low profile. Low profile, everyone. Brittle houses. Have you met Priscilla? He's such a wise old man. He sure is. He's an. He's only only wise, only old man. Wait, which one's show right now? Because the other ones that I have to do for the manuscripts are after the boss. Okay, something about tired old brain. Oh yeah, we could mob mentality. Fuck you guys. Our town. <laughs> so loud. Now that Ethan is dead or whatever, what new character will be Nari and I instead of someone we were attached to? Okay, let's just just put Chris in it. Who cares? I don't need no new character. But you're so right, because they're probably gonna end up doing that. Oh, now you get to play as Jeff Ward, the uh, 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 former Umbrella employee, for like two days. Okay, I'm at the end. Hello there. Room for one. Help! Somebody please! <laughs> Help! 
the fakest, the fakest sounding. Oh hell! Anybody? Like if I didn't already know Priscilla, that was Priscilla. I would think that I'm about to be scammed here, right? This is like classic, like, like they do this in Red Dead Redemption, but it's like a classic Western, like woman in the middle of the road, like, oh my God, help! And then I help her, and then two gruff cowboys come and beat my ass. <laughs> we gotta go. Help! There's a monster attacking the boat. Benza, I know you're there. Down here. All right, Terra the Deep. I have I have my electric materion. Hopefully, I don't die. Yuffie! I'm gonna get mugged on this dock by Terror of the Deep. Please don't mug me, sir. You're a big fish and I'm just a human. Said what I said, Midnight. It's just a dolphin. Yuffie, grab his fin and hold on tight. Grab his paws and hold on tight. Yeah, you can't use items. Get rid of that thing. Ferret, focus. Get its attention. On it. He's using the wedge strat, getting his attention. A big turkey. Oops. Take the lead. I got this. Let's turn it up. Call me like her. Watch yourself. It's on you. Go for it. Oh, it's on you. Let me out. Oops, not that one. My friends! Shit. Better off with that. Hey, it's just use regular thunder. Oh god, cloud. Well, I'm dead. <laughs> Hello, put me down! Put me down! Cloud! I have reprieve! Wait, is he also sold? Wait, where the fuck is Cloud? Oh my god, there you are. Quick! Quick, Cloud! You fool! Oh my god, Tifa. Wait, she's got electric fist. Can she? Yeah, I know, I don't have ATV, Tifa. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> turkey of the deep kicked my ass. He's like, I'll show you turkey. Can I reach him? <laughs> yes, Comet, his ass. Wait, who has time? Do you have time? Yay, 300%. I did it! Oh, that big chunk! 
<laughs> Alright, well, I can't hurt it anymore. Let's just get our ATV up. Vincent from another timeline, are you watching? He's Thundaga. Keep it together. I think Tifa has Swift Cast. She did. Mmm, let's see. Oh, did I? I did. I need Cloud. I just want red to be able to. With me. Do it. Here, Tifa, you have free MP now. Oh, your tail fin. Now. Where's red? Is he watered? Do it. Take him down. This is it. Start us, Ray. Oh, wait, meteor strike. Get him, Tifa. No, <laughs> we're never gonna see the end of Meteor Strike ever again. <laughs> Everything just kills him too fast. Anyway, easy. Easy boss. Dude, adding pace or time materia might be the best thing ever. You see how much of its health bar we took just because I stopped it? I know, water not being an element is sad. Nice work, buddy. Come on. Look, Cloud made a new friend. Hey, we need help over here. Oh, <laughs> this dolphin is all up in his business. Vincent from the future, you're watching. <laughs> so cold. You're at 73. Damn, I think I'm only at like 48. Again. Yeah, even Alexander so has not elemental. Oh god, Alter. Don't just stand there, help me. You're on chest compressions. Got it. Now, start. <laughs> He's just hovering still, it's so funny. <laughs> you picked the wrong girl, creep. She's what? always gonna <laughs> think he's a creep now. It's okay, she gets a crush on him later, it's cute. Those guys there are from the Splinter Cell. Splinter Cell? They used to be with Avalanche, but left after a policy dispute. I know, I love her theme. <sighs> Easy. They're guests of mine. Uh, and this one was trying to save your life. He was? Ugh, nice going, Yuffie. Call the guy a creep, why don't ya? You big moron! Dum, 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 dum. Uh... <laughs> She's like doing all of her moves. Let's get you inside. You've had a rough day. Not stuck in sore in the sand. Right. Somebody tell Angie real quick. Thank you very much. And then Barrett. You're welcome. <laughs> Not to be that guy. Who gives these You're gonna love stuff. her. Don't. How now? Who's that? Another one of my guests. I seem to get a lot of them when the world's on fire. <laughs> anyway, Cloud's bleeding out. Everyone's like, you okay, Burke? I'm fine, Barrett. Thank you. Banana. 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 Ocean's real quiet today. Too quiet. There's Yuffie. <laughs> she is zooming. Hi. Hey, 
you guys are that avalanche splinter cell, right? Hello, child. How the hell did you? I just gotta say, I'm a big, huge fan of yours. He wishes they could be as cool as you guys. <sighs> well, uh, we are pretty cool, but. Think we could sit down for a chat later? Got a teensy favor to ask. And gotta thank you for before. Uh, I suppose you could come by the inn tomorrow. Sweet! You won't be sorry. Promise. Later! There she goes. Um. I know, I know. She laid it on pretty thick. But hey, she's just a kid. What's the harm in hearing her out? Maybe she wants your autograph. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's get ourselves. He wasn't denying it. He's like 35 or something. Got too much sugar again. Nah, that's that's just young people energy. I remember having young people energy. Is that? I thought. Oh my god, I thought that was Chadley telling you about seafood all, from all the way over here, but it's these chumps. Am I young? I'm not 16, I'll tell you that much. I'm old. I'm I'm 90. My hey, bones hurt when I see you run. Of the hour. I heard about what you did for that girl. Oliver. Thank you so much. Your stay is on us. We insist. It's the least we can do for you, really. Now then, how many we got? You just kind of run like a Will bird. Four rooms be enough? <laughs> Give him his uh, own room. Did you make it five? Five it is. Oh, everything is comped. So if you need anything at all, just ask. Don't know about you, but I'm dying to put my feet up. Be older than Sid. To have the place up at again least, for once. Gosh, when at least it's not like OG back? Sid. OG Sid was basically like 50. Am I losing a room because a dog has one? <laughs> I would be like, yeah, makes sense. I'll I'll take the floor somewhere. You're being older than most characters now. It is weird. By your measure, I'm in your hundreds or dead already. How does it feel to be in your hundreds? You a warm pee? Keep her being happy in the place is packed, but he copped the whole damn tea. <laughs> I know, right? It's just like, we're not paying you, you know that, right? Maybe someone is. Seems much more spry. He, dude, Re Reaper Sid is so funny. He's funny, he's full of energy, he's like, overall positive. He's always laughing and shoving his new friends. It's great, I love it. I, yeah, I know, the way he just laughs and pushes people. <laughs> he has such, like, uncle energy. I love it. <laughs> we all know a dude like that, yeah. Yeah, OG Sid's 32, but he definitely comes off as he is in his like late 40s or some crap. Even 50s. He's just like, oh, my dreams are over. It's just like, bro, you're 32. Most people's dreams don't even start. His fighting style, he was a Dragoon class. So he had like a pole lance. One of his limit breaks, he throws dynamite that he lights with his cigarette, but there's no cigarette. So now it might be like a synergy attack that he lights with. Red 13th's tail. Possibly. Think he made friends after leaving Shinra? Maybe. I can see Sid being a pretty big connection to future Shinra plotlines. He does not give Dragoon vibes at all, Rerith. Yeah, like, his, his personality doesn't match, like, a typical Dragoon, but... He's... he's that alright. I can't wait. Uh, I'll be right back. I'll, I'll see what Oliver is barking at. I can't wait. I can't wait to see their their play styles. He just had a little pee session. The temple stuff was more fear spiritual, which might connect to what he remembers of Fauna. Oh, maybe she freaked him out and he feels bad. Oh, maybe. I do. I really wish we could see the Sid flashback with how he met the Fauna and Faris. Hopefully we do. I can see- I can see part of part three, like, when they're mourning Aerith. I can see him bringing that up or something as, like, a flashback. And we get to see it. Oh my god, Matt, like, little 16-year-old Sid. No, that'd be so cute. Yeah, at the temple, he didn't want to use jump for fear of breaking the game like Aerith did. <laughs> Just like, I'll let- I'll let her handle the jump this time around. 
I'll show her it's done the next game and then she dies and he's like, oops. Boy of Sid. And because we're gonna like okay, we're gonna get like like a young Sid flashback, maybe, with Ifalna and Aerith. And then we're obviously gonna get the well young Vincent flashback. He's still the same age, but it's 30 years ago. Uh of him as a Turk, so that'd be cool. But then there's also the Sid flashback with like how his dreams got ruined, but they might alter that because it already seems already like that they're altering that. I don't know, we'll see. I'm excited though. <laughs> I ain't going to that mojo temple. I'm all about Jesus. He doesn't talk like that. That emote Sid talks like that. Not ours, Sid. Yo, AJ. Seems the best. Flying them to Midgar. Yeah, maybe. I just would really like to see that scene. Like, doesn't have to be the only flashback, you know, for Sid. He's just hiding it like red hides his real voice. It's okay. <laughs> They're both really good at that. Play it off as him trying to get her to leave and move on. Like Lassie. <laughs> He's gonna Lassie Shara. Get out of here, Lassie. I don't need you. Or whatever. <laughs> Whoever it is. Hi, Barrett. Okay, did we pick the right option for him last time? Hey, so about that Yuffie kid, what do you think she wants with us? Be honest. I picked the right one first! Yes! Like Tifa said, your autograph. <laughs> ah, the burden of fame. Seriously, playing this game a second time <laughs> really does have added value. Always knew this day'd come. Good thing my signature's a work of art. Let me prove it to you. Oh yeah, the traumas in the temple, maybe. If they can find a place. Because we're, we're definitely going to get a flashback of them regardless of, like, trauma or not. But I don't know if we'll get a trauma ritual. I can't really think of... I mean, I don't know. It, they could always add new places. Or just go to the temple. Again. Away, one by one. And the tighter I held on, the more I lost. I know. I felt the same. It was like they were sucking them straight out of my head. They're talking about- oh my god, yeah, the first time we said this was like, who's that? Uh, that- Yeah, they're talking about how the whispers suck some of their memories. And the worst part is that I don't even know what's missing. That is pretty sad. Maybe that something is. Like it's on the tip of my tongue, but I just can't remember. Damn whispers. Speaking of, have you seen them lately? Loud. Who's in there with you? Oh. Look how Red doesn't even say anything. Like right. that. Thought it was someone else. That doesn't. That isn't weird. No. Nope. I'll clear your officer. <laughs> he opens well, door. The rest of your patrol is just as uneventful. Yeah, she was talking to Red. <laughs> uh, Don Corneo. Yeah, imagine. I hate opening doors. He's so. Look, he can do without thumbs, Oliver. What's your excuse? Here she up high winds of Midgar. Oh, can't wait. That part is so incredible. Broke down beat like a dragon last night. I loved it. I'm glad. It's so good. Ichiban is the only is the only person that can perform Sephiroth. Hi, Aerith. I'm stealing this before I talk to you, whatever it is. I don't remember. I stole it from you last time. Money. I don't know about you, but it feels like we've been on the road forever. Like Midgar's ancient history. I wonder how Mom and Marlene are holding up. Homesick? Mm -mm. No time for that. Not with Sephiroth around. Mm. So, a little random, but do you remember the first time we met? You shoved a flower at me. <laughs> You shoved a flower in my face. I just like these it's options too much. A gift, Cloud. Oh yeah, this is when she gets mad that she gave it, he gave it to Tifa. And I seriously doubt you're the one who put it there. Hey, I mean, you never know. Some advice? Never re-gift a present from a girl. Especially if you're just gonna give it to another one. Noted. Water under the bridge. But next time... Listen, Aerith. Cloud never- he didn't- he assumed he'd never see you again. 
It wasn't like just some gift from Aerith. It was just a flower some random person gave to him. Okay, Cloud, <laughs> you're good. <laughs> that is an excuse. No, I said this last time, but if somebody gifts you something, if that's not- that item that you got gifted, that's not their responsibility anymore. You- that is now your property. You can do whatever you want with it, because it now belongs to you. Like, if you're gonna gift people things, and then expect they hold on to it forever, I think that's- you're the problem. That's, like, expecting too much from somebody. And I don't even mean just, like, Cloud and Aerith. Like, I like Aerith. I'm not shit-talking her. I'm just, like, in general. A gift isn't something you get to hold over somebody's head for the rest of their life. That's not what a gift is. <laughs> That's just like... I don't know what that is. She's not crazy. I know she's mostly just teasing, it's not really a big deal, but... I'm just- I gotta stick up for my boy Cloud because he did nothing wrong. <laughs> yeah, it's- it, yeah, possessive is a good word. It comes off as possessive. Probably surprised to see it sitting in the base of heaven more than just him not having it. Yeah. But it's cute because he he sees he sees it as like Like it was it was, I don't know, important enough to like make it last. Like he didn't throw it out. Like that that's actually a really good thing. Like he didn't throw out the flower. He didn't like step on it or anything. Like he he passed it on to somebody who would more so appreciate it. So that's good. Yeah, I, I don't- I'm not saying Aerith is possessive, it's just acting like- like, treating a gift you give to somebody in that regard would be more possessive. He did give it to Tifa and not realize what it meant, proving that he wasn't even listening to Aerith. Well, but again, because it's when he- when he first met Aerith, there's no reason to think that he'd ever see her again. Like, it was just a stranger giving him a flower. He did lie. He did say, oh, I forgot. <laughs> like, he forgot he gave it to Tifa. So if he'd given it to Marlene, would she feel the same? Ooh, good question. I'd probably think that's cute. Yes. Hey, you want to talk about that voice? <laughs> You're just standing here in the middle of the room. This town reeks of fish and brine. Should Shinra come calling, I doubt I'll smell them till it's too late. <gasps> Don't worry. Never thought you could. <laughs> I'll leave it all. Was to he you sad? Time. My poor nose. <laughs> I just I wanted to see what any of the other options were. Cause I picked the two star. I heard his feeling. That's okay, we'll get we'll get it. We'll do the last one. I wish you could do all of them. That was definitely a one star one. I just wanted to see what happened. Look at him looking at me. Red, I love you. Look, you're lying to me too, okay? <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> My poor nose. Oh, dude, I wanna I wanna boop his poor little nose. So we'll get his last one. I didn't I didn't the last one didn't even seem good either. Like they both seem like one starry. Save scum. Wait, can we if I if I load checkpoint? What here? 49? 20 minutes ago? I guess we are talking. Time to reset the whole chapter because I hurt Rhett's feelings. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. She's literally like waiting. She's waiting on the other side of the door for footsteps and then she opens it like, oh, I didn't see you there. Hey. Oh, what a surprise, Cloud. Perfect timing. I was just about to come. Yeah, whatever, you. Tifa. I know your game. Yeah, I... You So did I we're about to find out if I got this dialogue option wrong the last time. I said in calm. Oh. Come in. for that Max Tifa rank. Yeah, we'll see. Cause this is the only one I think I got wrong, I but I don't know. It's fine. I never should have doubted you either. They are so cute. 
Say, do you remember a guy named Emilio from Nibelheim? <gasps> that was the three star! Wait, people were gaslighting me and telling me that's wrong, but it's right. Oh, huh? what now, stupids? Oh. I do know Tifa. <laughs> <laughs> She's my Stanley wife. My store. wife, not yours. <laughs> right. No, no. People were gaslighting. People were telling me that's the two star option because they're like, oh, they want. She wanted to pass her test, and I failed it. Why would you pick any other? Because she says it's a test, so she's testing you. If she rem if you remember Emilio or not. Yeah, if you're gonna backstay, at least be correct. So people had me thinking this was the one I got wrong, but I it was right. She clasped her hand in excitement. Yeah, because she's just like, oh my god, like nervous. That was the obvious most flirty, so it had to be the best one. That's that's what I thought. Because it's a generally really sweet thing to say. People lied. Anyway, I don't know what I got wrong then. <laughs> Gaslighting yourself now. Anyway. Anyway. He left the village right before you did. Look at that. I'd never see him again. What did I get wrong then? He shows up at Nibelheim? Okay. I'll... I couldn't believe my eyes. He was all I'll be on the lookout for Nibelheim then. Didn't even recognize him at first. Damn, I made it that far. Yeah. And I knew more, I knew Tifa. Girl, I've been in love with you stunning. since 1999. Like, she could have been a model. Of course and... I know Tifa. <laughs> You're not interested, are you? Screw him, I'm interested. Not really. But I I'm happy to listen, so go ahead. I actually really liked his that response of him. It's okay. Of his. Forget it. Was this another test? No, it wasn't. I talked to her twice in Nibelheim. Yeah, maybe that's what I messed up. Why deny it? I guess it was, huh? I'm sorry. It's fine. We'll find time to talk. Just Probably Billy. Figure things out. Like, I'm in love with Tifa until I meet Vincent and then Tifa becomes old news. It's like, huh, what, Just Tifa? Yeah. To spill your guts, huh? I wasn't listening. With my iron stomach? Aww. <laughs> no, they're so cute. Stop it. She leans against the door. Aww. Aw, oh, these two! <laughs> Go back in there, you fool! The sense of yearning behind the door- I know! Look, and she's still behind the door because you can see her circle. She's still there! Ah! <laughs> At least starts doing sit-ups. Not just at the top, but happy to hear the person vent. Like, it's, it's such a sweet response. Because- Hold on. Turn in early tonight. Damn it! We tried, Cloud. We tried. He's like, Fuck, really thought I had it there. <laughs> no, because he's being honest. He's just like, I don't really care about this person, but I want to hear you talk about the things you're interested in. Is what that answer came off, and it's it's sweet. It's a nice message. It's like, it's like when I hear, when I listen to Oliver barking about something, I'm like, I don't know or care what you're talking about, but I'm happy to listen to you. <laughs> Every time. Some creeper that wrote Tifa a novel, a letter anyway. Yeah, Amelia was weird. I don't want to remember that guy. <sighs> anyway, rest of the night. And then Cloud starts doing sit-ups. Because of what Tifa said to him. Iron stomach, huh? <laughs> so cute. I love these two. <laughs> HP restored. Oh, not MP. all here it's time you got to know me 
My name is Yuffie, Materia Hunter and Elite Ninja Operative for the Interim Wutai Government. I left my beloved homeland behind to bring an end to Shinra's reign of terror and prove that Wutai's not to be trifled with! I love her smile at the end because it's almost Wutai? like, how did I do? Yep. Which brings me to that little favor I mentioned yesterday. Long story short, I want you to join me. HQ, they just didn't understand. But you guys get it. <sighs> Don't ninjas creep around in the dark slitting people's throats. I mean, we've done some shit, but we ain't about to stoop that low. I resent that. <laughs> Although, that is something we do. Don't listen to her. Traveling alone so far from home is expensive. So I've been moving from town to town, hustling, scraping together enough scratch to keep sticking it to the man. Until, that is, I came here. And lucky I did, because I met Rhonda. She offered me the gig of a lifetime, an assassination. And guess who the target is? Seriously, guess! <sighs> Just spit it out already. Who else? But a certain company's new president, Rufus freaking Shinra! That crazy or what? As if she pulled it off. And that douchebag will be here any minute now. Up there here anyway. Enjoying his fancy inauguration parade. These people had their country stolen from them, and then their sunlight. Junon demands revenge. So when the president steps she ruined out, it all. I wouldn't trust Rufus in the long run anyway. Tell us more. But yeah. Okay. You want to know how Rhonda's planning on paying me? With your bounty suckers. What? Wow, gotta hand it to her. Damn okay, it, Yuffie. Well, this was fun. See ya. Hey. <laughs> I know you're in there, my friend. If you manage to get away. You should try to find Priscilla. She'll get you topside. <laughs> Attempt in reliance. Now, you don't want to make me come in there and fetch you because I would love to do it. Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> A pain in the ass. Cloud's like, I don't want to talk about Let's this. Go. Yeah, probably not going to do a Shinra alliance, but I can definitely imagine. Um, well. I, I feel like a Turk alliance will definitely happen in Wutai. Just this guy just being comic relief. I'm sad what happened to him. Yo, Nathan. I hope he recovers. I hope so too. I hope they have good plans for him in part three. Honestly, how long do you intend to keep me Hi, Rose. I'm here. Look at him when he was happy. Fonder, my friend. <laughs> Still playing hard to get it. Well, I've got news for you, young man. As if I think, the speed demon. You know, his hair's already kind of white. Retrieving one Aerith game. Uh, me? You come alone? <laughs> it only takes two to tango. Besides, you and I like to go big and a venue this small just won't. Oh, yeah, this town does not give a shit. But no need to worry. I found the perfect stage. Oh, he winked. The city above, where we can dance up a storm. Seek me out, and we'll put our last performance to shame. With a show none shall ever forget. <laughs> Freaking laugh. <laughs> I like how Cloud never denies he's his friend. These people don't need more trouble. Yuffie said to talk to Priscilla if we wanted to get topside, right? Let's go find her. Thanks for dealing the five with that physics. Shinra nut job. 
Don't you think for even a second we did that for you? The slime ball who sold us out. Take it. Not much, but it's yours. The hell's this supposed to be? <laughs> Your bounty. Part of it, anyway. You thought I'd put you through the ringer like that without making it worth your while? We're on the same side. Always have been. And what if Biker Boy had taken us in? Then I would have <laughs> yeah, but she gives us like 5%. But I didn't, because it all worked out. A horrible worked deal. Out fine. Like I pray it will for Yuffie upstairs. Doo doo. Doo doo. Doo 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 doo. New quests are available in Junon. Okay, these are the dumb quests that I gotta do for the menu scripts. Where are they? Chapter four we're on? Uh, um, I beat the Mind Flayer. Oh yeah, yeah, Salmon gets one. <laughs> Talking to Yuffie. Okay, I beat the Mind Flayer, so I have to do and Terror. Wait, what? I have to beat Roche in Chapter 4? Oh my god, I forgot this game goes- or this chapter goes that far. Okay, so there's four- there's four side quests I have to do. And then also Roche. It's my favorite chapter, the one where we meet Vincent. <laughs> Uh, all right, salmon time. Okay, calling all frogs when words won't do, and then dreaming of blue skies. Wait, and then beat the sandstorm drinks. Drinks. Oh my god, this it's. This fucking website's like weirdly color coded. Like, look at this. It's giving me a headache to try to read. Here, let me show you. Okay, cause it's like, like it wouldn't be so bad if like each bullet point was one color or something, but it's just like 10 is like purple and blue. And then 11, it's just like orange and blue. And then 12 is red and blue. Cause like the blue is like clicking. It's like the name of the mission, but it's so fucking obnoxious to try to read. All right, we, we can make <laughs> the middle school student notebook. <laughs> I, I hate it. It's a mess, right? Give me icons. No, I, I know what they're doing. I know they're like highlighting what, but it looks like a mess. Okay, so chapter four. All right, the frogs. When words won't do, that's... Beat the white mooses during the hardest cell. Okay, I don't have that one unlocked yet. I don't have- I don't have- okay, I have the first two, the other two unlock later, okay. See your killer notes. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Through the gel pens. I know, I hate it. <laughs> I hate it so much. It would be, be worse if it's like, fucking eyes were circled instead of dotted. What is this? Oh, Rhonda's there. Okay. Story time. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Did you see that guy on the motorcycle? What a hunk! Yeah, I don't know about Roche being hunky. He's, he's, he's pretty dweeby. Another day in and, life. like, loud. You haven't seen the final boss yet, go back your ass? Oh, I see. Yeah. The final boss of that brutal challenge is pretty funny. Oh! Hey, you guys! It's very we hard to get Aerid. She said that you could show us a way to get up top. Sure, I'd be happy to. Although, Yuffie's the one who found it. And according to her, that tanker's the quickest and easiest way into the city. See that? That booth up there is the control room. So we can repurpose this ship as an elevator. Someone lowers and sends it back up, along with the others. Problem is, how are we supposed to get to the controls? High voltage? Yep. It should just say, no climbing. So we're stuck. Not with Mr. Dolphin. 
You wouldn't believe what he can do. Like... Oliver. When we met. See, I was out taking a swim all on my lonesome. At least right, every time I, I see something alone. cute, I look but at all then, of her. Squeak, squeak. So I hear this funny noise. That's great and all, but we're in a hurry. <laughs> hey! Be nice to the we're dolphin. Sorry, really. But we'll make sure to come back as soon as we're done. You can finish your story then. How does that sound? Okay, promise. <laughs> hmm? Never done it before? My arm, your arm, bam. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> awesome. All right then, now what? Now we ask Mr. Dolphin to get you up. With his help, it'll be a cinch. Okay, which one of you wants to go flying? Got you written all over it. Damn it! Guess it's Cloud, you you knew it was always gonna be you. That's why he didn't even deny it. He's like, well, what else is new? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm not fail this dumbass game. Hey, future Vincent on the dock, are you watching? It's gonna be like, damn, it's a like dolphin writing. It's not a job for your ninja. We don't technically have her yet. I'm imagining him there. I'm I'm just being like Cloud. Yeah, whatever. I think I remember how to play. Sounds like the whistle in Edit and Eddie. I don't remember how to play. Oh, you can skip dolphin jump? Ho oh, ho! Don't mind if I do! Damn, that was so cool, Cloud. 10 out of 10. Nice going, man. Nice going, man. Good job, Cloud. My freaking hero right there. No, Rebirth only shows you one of his transformations. I can't spoil it before he's even playable. Oh yeah, this could have just been a cutscene. Perfect form, Cloud. But not a cutscene. This could have been an email. Any developers watching the stream? Hi, developer. I love Vincent. Just thought you should know that. Not a little Mine's beast, right it's a big, ferocious, scary the ship's beast. Not far, so you'll be there in no time. <laughs> if we don't sink on the way. <laughs> He's so cute. He's got a little rope in his mouth. Oh yeah, holding analog in a game. looks more like a Satan than how humanoid he looked in Dirge. He looks really dumb in Dirge. He was just like Yute and Vincent. Boring. The gang's all here. Hey, Mark! We're good to go down here. Alright. Uh. Now we get to hold up masterfully. Which, again, could have been a cutscene. <laughs> hey, friends! Meet you at the top! First you hold down, and then you hold up, and then BAM, that's the game. <gasps> Junon! Oh my god, this cutscene. 
Need the high wind. I love when they hit us with the tier 3 cutscenes. They go all out with these these renders. It's so good. Ten hut. Whatever, Rufus. It's like, oh my god, they ten hutted for me. Yeah. Can't wait for the slap fight. All ten squads. Um, I'll probably just get the one squad, because I, I won it on my first playthrough. Like, I got the commemorative honor or whatever. I don't know. But I, I want to see what it's like when Roche wins, so I'm just going to pick the one. And then see how I horribly fail. Hey, friends. Oh, you need at least five? Okay, let's ah, get all the five. Are. Let's move. There I am. I love this part. Oh my god. I love, I love Judon. Yeah, Judon was like... Like, this This game's been a highlight non-stop since. But this is like the first time this game's like... Ultra wowed me. It's just the whole, like all of Junon. Because it's like, you see you see that, you see Pywin. The second Junon Street. The nice renders. A security than I thought. The Costa del Sol was awesome. More too. worried about the parade? <laughs> Guess things have changed. They got Wasn't just fan service. There's personally. Like, did you miss all the character moments that happened in Costa del Sol? There's definitely way more than girls in bikinis. They're definitely not here. Let's head into town. But if you got distracted by the girls in bikinis and didn't pay attention to the other stuff, then I I guess they they got you. <laughs> oh, this view! Oh, the Juno music. The highway. Generous pride and joy. The fastest, most advanced airship in the fleet. Sound effect of cow ear splitting howl. The worst. Unless you got a train crew and piloting skills we don't know about, we're sticking with the boat. That's too bad. Would have been perfect. Hey, beggars can't be true. No, I can't wait to be on that. Oh, high winds! Come get your or Sid. Come get your high wind. <laughs> have you seen the engines? You've seen the engines. I stood here for like ten minutes. My first playthrough, just screenshotting high winds. I tell you, I never. It's not bigger than I envisioned the G game. Yeah, it's like the the deck is way smaller than the rest of it. Get on board. <laughs> Clouds off was ninety percent more revealing the girls anyway. It's pretty revealing. He looks so like small and pasty in it. It's pretty funny. They do give a lot of hints that you're gonna take it. That's okay, we don't need it right now, so we need it. No, we'll leave them be. No, they know we're here. Hmm. Enter. An emissary from Wutai is here, sent by Viceroy Saru. Oh, he introduced himself as Colonel Glenn Ladbrock. I want to see that. All right. Bring us the Ever Crisis. 
He's <laughs> so dumb. I think wear your shoes, you're right. I thought you were dead. <laughs> then you thought right. Well, like Glenn didn't see that total subtle head nod. Let's cut to the chase, Mr. President. The Viceroy and your late father had big plans. I assume you intend to carry them out? Correct. That's good to hear. Some people just don't have the stomach for war. And this battle for the Magnus Materia demands commitment from both Wutai and Shinra. Thank you. I'm aware. But my father is dead, which changes the equation. A new vision is required. You always did prefer to march to the beat of your own drum. This new vision include your fairy tale promised land? <laughs> you Shinras, you take and you take, you never give back. Left to you, this world would end up an empty husk. But war can put things right. Beget anger, desolation, hatred, and in its wake, new unity. A people rejuvenated, and a planet once more made whole. What we're doing's for the greater good. Just gotta know when to ease off the gas. Now listen. You started this, remember? No more playing the idle air. You have obligations to fulfill. <laughs> Let's give the people what they deserve. Like, this is just more annoying when you know it's a Sephiroth puppeteering. Oh, right. Before I leave, to, like, a distract Rufus. Congratulations on your inauguration, Mr. President. Shinra has a bright but I hate future. that they had to make it as Glenn. Because it's like... This guy from a mobile game... Is in it just to be useless. Big surprise. Good thing we watched all of it. It's not even... It's not even over though. Like, this game technically spoils however Crisis will end. Or the... The Glenn storyline will end. So I guess Rufus kills him. <laughs> uh, he does look like a guy from mobile game. Glenn is not Cloud's father. It's just a popular? I don't know if it's popular or what. It's just a theory people have. I hope it's not real. Wouldn't matter anyway because he's dead. Was Glenn Cloud said, you know, Sephiroth would have used him to taunt Cloud some somehow? Yeah, <laughs> instead he just uses uses him to troll Rufus. To keep up with it, I was like, oh. Yeah, isn't it weird? Like, I don't know. I mean, I don't really care about spoilers for a mobile game, but it is weird. I know why, I know because the Everchrist got delayed and all that, but it's still awkward. It's not, Vincent's not his dad. Did the Wutai defection happen at least? in the game no not yet i think they're getting there think about it vincent's been asleep for 30 years cloud's 21 <laughs> can't be his dad an ever crisis no i th i think i can't remember where the last ever crisis chapter ends i think 
I think they left because like Sephiroth was on. He he had to like solo a mission. And everyone had to leave, but then Glenn stayed with him or something. And then I don't know what happened after that. That's true. Vincent is my husband. Cloud's my son. Meth does check out. Vincent got out of his coffin for a day. He's been a deadbeat dad since. Let him echo full weave and be all, oh, wow, Wutai culture is so cool. <laughs> yeah, and then they're like, they love it so much they defect. That is, that's pretty cool though. I, I do like the inclusion of, like, Glenn and, and him, him being like the leader of the Wutai resistance or whatever. Like, I, I like that idea. I just don't like what they do with him here, where he's just like a puppet to just harass Rufus. It's so annoying, but it does make it better because you know it's Sephiroth doing it. But it still just kind of makes me feel like they wasted Glenn even more. Because it's like, I, w I was worried they were going to interject Glenn in the most annoying way, and they actually did because it's not even Glenn. <laughs> Cloud has found a patch of facial grains with the chocobos that explains the hair. Literally, Cloud Jr. It's they also show Seth manipulating Wutai. Yeah, like it's more interesting on Sephiroth's part than Glenn. Like, Glenn, even Glenn just ends up being a pawn. But anyway, I do really like uh, them thinking that he was like the leader of the Wutai resistance. And then uh, Viceroy Saruf not being real either. I don't know, I like that angle. It's interesting. Star Swarm duty, keep President safe. It's like, well, he's in a room w alone with a Sephiroth puppet, but like, y'all ain't doing your jobs. Genesis 2.0. God, I love Junon's music so much. Glenesis. Yeah, Cloud. Oh, yeah, Cloud. Critical. You confuse? It's strategic I can tell you anything you need to know. By Sarufaroth. Huh. Neat. Any good restaurants? Sites to see? Uh, maybe. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Right. You're not the touristy type. Hey. Just to be clear. Yeah, clouds all military, military, military. Ass like, I just want food. Right? Of course I do. Hey, look. What's that about? Infantry will return home with the president's commendation. Let's show him how a real drill team does it and make our city proud. We toss about dumb apples. Remember the entire last three cutscenes of good. When we when we get there on hard mode, I'll tell you everything you need to know. Can't look at Cloud the same after the ending. I know, like him being nice boy. I'm like, oh, oh, sweet baby Cloud, you're gonna be so crazy by the end of this. My Swiss Surf is just Rufus, but I guess it's probably not going there. I don't think so either. He's playing both fields. Oh, freaking. Yeah! All the Tifa stuff. I just think Tifa had a barrier. Huh? More like eager to prance around for the new paymaster. <laughs> I don't, I don't think they implied Rufus is Viceroy. I, I think he was always just a fake to ask. distract Rufus. What? If Rufus is in town, are we really gonna let this opportunity pass us by? Hmm. He also defected that abandoned them. Man, oh, I but see. We ought to at least give him a talking to. Rough him up a little, maybe, you know? Actually, I'm gonna have to agree. First, yeah, I don't think the Turks so. say, do whatever, we're not after you. But then Cloud's biker buddy rolls up and says he is. We gotta straighten this out. Okay, but how? We can't just walk up to the president in the street. Hmm. Or maybe we can. Huh? We bust up his parade. No. That's how we die in a hail of bullets like a bunch of dumbasses. The city's crawling with Shinra troopers. We join the parade. Hide in plain sight. Get in, get close, get answers. What a cloud with Seriously? ideas. Sure. Wow, that's good. No arguments here. Barrett, Brett, you guys find a route to the port. 
See what security's like. And keep an eye out for black robes while you're at it. Now hold up! Fatigues won't be enough to disguise you two. <laughs> True enough. Shut up. All right, see you in a bit. I gotta go find a uniform. It's <laughs> wordlessly approaching him. Oh, we're coming with. I'm so pumped for this. This way? Yeah. Does that make me a dumbass? <laughs> Attention all troopers. Spare uniforms can be found here. Well, thank changed. you. This lady is really bad at her job. Thank you the for letting us in. <laughs> if, if anything, it's her fault. Huh. They're actually kind of cool. Well, ready to suit up? Yep. <laughs> Whoa there. Three steps back, if you please. Yeah, Cloud, what was the plan there? Uh, Cloud, what do you think you're doing? If you're gonna stand there, keep watch. I like the warning. Ha ha, very funny. Come on, Cloud. You really need to be this close? Scram! <laughs> Occupied. <laughs> Getting so mad. Uh, Cloud, what do you think uh, you're doing? <laughs> we exhaust the dialogue. If you're gonna stand Damn there, it! Watch. How do you weirdo? Like, well, they're starting to say the same shit now. I guess I could actually leave. And I only approached it once last time, so I'm like, I, I have to try to exhaust the dialogue second playthrough. He's still wearing his soldier uniform. You're fine, Cloud. Commander letting Cloud lead the parade after being late and not knowing who they are. I know, the commander sucks at her job too. Everyone at Junon is incompetent. Like, <laughs> to the point where Roche is gonna win. Can you get an angle on Tifa with camera mode? Oh my goodness. She's a thing for Cloud. Oh god. What, another one? How are you just reeling in these women? I think Cloud's a Mary Sue. Freeze. Hands up. Damn. <laughs> well. Well. They look great. You got me. <laughs> 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 it's already of Shinra's incompetence all up the chain. Even Rufus is like really new for his job. But don't forget, he's just letting Sephiroth puppets walk do. in. All right. Reactors exploding. Hojo, they have Hojo at the head of the science. Uh, whatever, the science wing, just ruining everything. Constantly letting things escape. Shinra might actually really suck at their job. They're just lucky they have the money and the manpower to, like, cover shit up. <laughs> Tooth Fairy isn't real. Rufus just uses his, uh... his, um, uh, trust fund as, like, weapons or ammo for his gun. Yeah, R&D, yeah, I know. The, mon the monster department. Seen how their meetings go last game. Literal max nub of air. Right, that I keep I was I was saying that constantly during his boss fight. It's just like he can't <laughs> like he can't even this is like fog machine or whatever, like uh malfunctioned when he tried to escape, he just awkwardly walked away. It's just like, oh money's not gonna help you there, buddy. He's gonna fire whoever sent him the fog bullet that he got. Made my new custom gun. After it's really cool, isn't it? <laughs> like, yeah, dude. Won't somebody say how cool my my weapon is? Rufus is just, cause he's just lonely. 
I do really like that they play up that lonely angle, because he's just like a rich, lonely kid. Like, his, by the end of this game, his only friend is Hojo, basically. They're dynamic and competent duo. And it's kind of sad. What if... Yeah, it happens. <laughs> he got the smoke effects from Wish. That's rock bottom. Oh yeah, I guess, I guess Heidegger too. But I feel like him and Hojo shared a laugh together, so that's, that's like, they're getting there. They're becoming friends. Personality crisis. I wish I felt, like, I, I really do like Rufus as a character. I think he's cool and, like, interesting and stuff for the role. But it's like, I also, I also don't really want to feel bad for him. I want to continue to make fun of the fact that he's just a rich Nepo baby. Which he is. And I, that making fun of that is far more interesting than being nice to him. <laughs> but you probably made Rufus's dog. Oh. Well, why did it open last time? Dude, he's so lonely. He can't even get real animals to like him. So he has a manufactured dog to like him. Hojo, oh, make me a pet that doesn't attack me. Hojo got lucky. Don't worry, Napo Baby kicked my ass too, practice. but don't forget, Remind he has money to help him fight. Part. We have Sorry, nothing sir. but effort and strength. Sorry, Sorry sir. sir. You're sorry? Oh, Do Joe. <laughs> any idea how important today's ceremony is? Do you maggot? Form check now. Oh, Joe, this dog barks too much. It wakes me up from my nap. And if you show her anything less than perfection, his <laughs> lead. Yeah, he literally uses money as ammo. Oh, Joe. Now what? Just follow my lead. I still remember the basics. I'm having second thoughts, you guys. What the hell are you doing over there? <laughs> the commander is waiting, sir. Oh, Joe, this helicopter is too bumpy. Have to hand it to you three. You've got guts skipping out on practice. That, or you're idiots. Let's find out, shall we? I'm not about to take any chances today. I'm warning you now, though. One slip up, and I'll chuck you straight into a Marlboro's mouth. Not the Marlboro. Best song. Let's see what you've got. Now, begin. I don't want to do the practice. Can I skip the practice? I'm gonna fail it. I'm gonna do it on purpose. Hojo, this song doesn't have lyrics about me. <laughs> the thought of Rufus. This is this is not like baby Rufus either. This is straight up. Oh, this is straight up like thirty old Rufus. Oh, Joe, make them clap for me. <laughs> They're not clapping. <laughs> Do it for Vincent, we do it for the commander. I'll, I'll do you? anything. Fucked it up. Hojo! My parade wasn't big enough. <laughs> no, I'm good, thank you. This is me... This is me having a, a welcome parade for when Vincent becomes playable in part 3. Was a disgrace. Yeah, yeah. But your confidence. That's what Vincent's gonna say. <laughs> He'd serve as a Seriously, why is she Sephiroth tall? Can 
Congratulations. Thank you. you. Are hereby promoted to parade Whatever. Captain promoted just to make infantry. a fool of myself? I don't think so, lady. See, now I want to win. Just a rubbing her dumb you face. Will be our model trooper, the one but I'm gonna let Roche win. Which means that our performance, satisfactory or otherwise, is now your responsibility. Ma'am. Ma'am. Hello, oh, Joe. I can't get a wife. <laughs> Well, Joe, why won't the Paul Hot Blood Lady like me back? As parade captain, you will round up your fellow troopers currently on leave in Larboard Juno. You will recall that to march in the parade. Okay, it does. Yeah, I was confused. I'm like, what? To muster five units or more. Submarine part in part three. That's a good guess. Songs. They'll identify the best from the rest. Yeah, if they messed up their actions when you did them. You and the cool. team will report to Starboard Juno. Tardiness will not oh, yeah. be tolerated. I should have tried to fail that proud. and see what they say. They're like, you are an absolute fool, but we're gonna let you be the leader anyway. He totally is a piece of me. All right, locate. I'm gonna do bare minimum and then fail it, just so Roche can win. Sorry, ladies, I went the wrong way. I'm clearly incompetent. Was lucky. Hey, you sure about this? Is the parade really gonna get us to Rufus? The parade won't, but the presidential commendation will. That's how these things go. The president himself gives the award. Wow, that's some plan. I mean, it's risky, but. Like, Tifa and Aerith don't even fully know the plan, they're already on board. Yeah, they didn't even notice Cloud's soldier eyes, that's a good point. Whoa! I- this part is so freaking cool. This is- this wowed me. Because not only does this street look incredible, but there's more! Oh. Ready to rally the troops, Captain? Yeah, just remember, Midgard. 7th Infantry. Anyone with one of these guys, right? Come on. Let's find Barrett first. He's around here somewhere. Rufus is stupid Sandy's. God, he already has shit everywhere. Hojo, put my sign up. <laughs> Hojo, make 900 standees of me. Hojo. You can only talk to him later, when you have the thing. Oh, Joe. Mm -hmm. Let's go see the bald club. All right. Yeah, anyway. So, like, this is all you see of Junon. Not all you see, but the first part you join. This is the Junon part, right? And you go in the stores. But this game has a whole ass second street, yo! Hey, Rude. <laughs> Very fishy. Clear of eye. It's so good. And it's so pretty. And there's so many places you can go up. I just expected the outside street, too. They have just added so much more. <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> to Reno turn down membership. No scout. No sir. That's okay. This is this is Rude's private time. He doesn't need Reno here. Well, what are you waiting for? Unless I'm a mop head. You three mop heads. Wait, he's our new captain. He didn't know. <sighs> sir, this place is for the clean shaven. You need to prove that you belong or leave. Oh. All 
Bernard's over, people. Seven, outside. Sir, right away, sir. I want to talk to Rude. He's so, so slim and tall. Hey, if you want to drink beer, the helmet has to go. I wish I could see Reno in a like a situation like this where they're just chilling. Like their character mod is just chilling. And I want to talk to them. We only see, ever see him in like cutscenes and boss battles. That's why I'm so excited to actually see him here, like in the OG. Rude will never accept a mop head like me, but he's so cool. This establishment only caters to those who boldly bear their baldness. You're participating in the president's inauguration parade. Good luck. Hey, we got a good luck. Hey, if you want to drink here, All right, Rude. Say hi to Reno for me. He would recognize Cloud. We're just lucky. Okay, we got one. Hey, buddies with your creepy red eyes. Let's go find Elena. She's at the bar. Where Reno should have been too. All over. I don't think so. This area is restricted. Attack of the weapons. It's not just stud. Here today to welcome President Rufus Shinra to the city. In a few hours, he will take part in his inauguration parade through Starboard. For the Barter Rude, we told Reno wears a wig. Maybe he does. Necessary. So yeah, once the parade. <laughs> Elena. <laughs> I'll be a fish. Can we help you? We're kind of in the middle of something. Check the helmet. Oh, Captain! I, I didn't... I, I'm sorry, sir! Break time's over. Outside. Now. Yes, yes sir! PS5 gimmick. The exercise mini game. I think that's the only one, yeah. Emolina. She's so funny in this game. Here for a hard one too, Captain? Oh, God. You talk about humiliating. Rude probably hates me. <laughs> Boss must want to fire me. <sighs> You'll never be Reno. I'm busy being sad. I'm busy being sad. I'm busy being sad. That's really funny. She's just alone at the bar. <laughs> hey. This is so cool. Elena, just join us. She probably doesn't want to. She's gonna be like the most threatening perk because Reno and Root are totally gonna defect. And even if they don't, I'll just imagine they do. Listen, if Cloud can imagine what he does by the end of this game, we'll not imagine because he does see her for reasons. Anyway, Cloud sees Aerith, I see Reno and Rude, okay? I don't want to hear it. Oh, Cloud's allowed to be in between timelines and I'm not? I'm in between this and OG, therefore Reno is here. <laughs> and Reno joins my party <laughs> in my delusions. I'm busy being sad. Trombone play, I feel like the band's brass section was weak. I should go tell them that. Oh yeah, where's the Rufus standing? It was like upstairs. Captain! Chadley, why are you in the closet here? I don't have time to watch parades. No matter what happens, no hard feelings. May the best unit win. Oh, were you lonely without daddy? Well, he's here now, and he brought your favorite cheese. Okay, well, let's go over it one more time. This dress. Chadley just hiding. No, we won't be ready for anything. Your friends with Sephiroth? Holy shit. Biased if you wish, but huh. Captain, what's you playing, sir? Permission to ask a question. 
What formations do you intend to utilize for our performance? Uh... That depends on the readiness of my men. But you can rest assured that your captain has everything under control. Is that clear? Now, out! Sir! sir. Yes, yes, sir! sir. Alright, now steal their toys. But he's in the chairs. There you go, buddy. I fixed him. <laughs> Where's the Rufus standing? How do I get out of here? No, this is Chadley's. Oh god, I'm so lost. How do I leave? Office is upstairs. DLC about Vincent, the temple with the Turks is that DLC post endgame. Oh, absolutely. Anything about Vincent. She'd like more the machine gun brooch or the bayonet one. Don't bother the captain with your bullshit. Sorry, sir. He's being an idiot. RR's over, people. Seven outside. Yes, yes sir. sir. Here it is the owners of the vibes here. Are Welcome. Take it. What kind of range do you think a can of that? Looking forward to a celebratory drink, sir! Can't wait, sir! Are you all practicing for the parade? The parade's gonna be broadcast live in the dark. So we gotta show I wanna find the Rufus office. This is a rehearsal for the parade? Oh, Red! Let me save you! Nice uniforms. Aw, how'd you know it was us? By your scent. That is some nose you got there, Red. Leaving the Mako soaked streets of Midgar behind has done wonders for my faculties. Even though this place is starting to take its toll. He hates it. I was gonna say, so one of them did sound like Mad Mercer. I think this is where the offices are. How excited are you to participate in today's parade? There. Where is the standees? Shut up! Get back to work, boys. Excuse me. Excuse me. I need to get in the back to work. Good day, Captain. Uh, oh, you're their captain. This is perfect. No comment, ma'am. Gotta get back to work. Moment, I'd love to ask you some questions about the parade. Uh, sorry, but how do you plan to set your team apart from the competition? Are there any special routines you've been practicing? We uh. Oh. Right. I see what you mean, Captain. We can't go spilling our secrets to anyone who asks, especially on camera. Break time's over, people. The parade's about to begin. Follow me. Sir! With the black materia? <laughs> they have no idea. God, look at your unblack materia sword. Oh, wait, there's more stairs! Oh my god, is this where it is? There he is! That's all I wanted to see. The weird Rufus standees. Oh, Joe, there's not enough standees of me. Oh, they're just in an office. Two of them next to each other. <laughs> so funny. Okay, we have the minimum. We're gonna lose it anyway, so Roche could win. The 
those children won't stop staring. And they so much as try to pet me. <clears throat> oh my god, I just realized he kind of sounds like the guy who voices the ghost face. I just realized that. Because when he says those children... I may be clad in fur, but that doesn't mean I'll purr. Cindy. <laughs> Damn. Rufus saying like six ten. Hojo, this standy's not tall enough. Well, why Hojo's like his assistant now? Hojo, tell me a. <laughs> this song. I love this song. Ah, Junon's so cool! Oh my god! <gasps> High wind written on the side! This is the first time I actually looked it up from this angle, sir, from down here. Back, oh back, god, sir. stop talking to me when I'm looking at the high wind. Your skin's also pretty, Mr. President. Oh, Joe. I need an appointment for my... my manicures. Soon she'll be ours. Wait, yes. The has it started, has it? Damn it! It's like it's like the OG cover, but with high wind in the back. Woo! You mean to do Chadley's VR bullshit? Now nah, you can do it. I believe. Listen, Kairos is able to do it. Take tips from him. <laughs> yelling uh, at him. Just hey! My uniform. Uh, for let. <laughs> Y'all know how it is. Ha <laughs> 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 ha, very funny. I could have shot you. You look... What? Wow. <laughs> it's not like I had a choice. <laughs> Nothing else fit. Okay, I get it. Anyway, I checked out the way to the port, and y'all, uh, look like you're fitting in. Yeah, they're looking for a gun arm, yeah. not a hook arm. Nobody's batted an eye. We're gonna win the president's commendation. Yeah, Bear wears this willingly. Sure he will. loves it. And his dumb hat. Think you mean I'm rooting for you. We're gonna fail. Ready to move when you are, sir. We're gonna fail. Okay, I'm so ready. Ready for Roche to win. And on time. What happens if I just don't press anything? There is not a minimum that you have to do to pass, right? Like, you could just sit there and fail. Wait, I should have saved. Or in case I need an achievement. No, because I definitely got definitely won last time. Got our dumb wrong on stream? <sighs> Maybe. I'll try. You're on. I definitely want to try to get it before I beat hard mode though. Listen up. Let's, we march, the eyes let's try to fail. The world will be watching, watching us. us. Lead the strats. My strats and is gonna be get lucky uh, and win. And we cannot, we will not let our great city of Midgar down. Failure is not an option. Oh, we failing? It's a big ask, but we can do it. I'm gonna do like the hardest one too. Because we have our captain to guide us. Look to him. Trust in him. Thanks, McTavish. Lead us to victory. It's Fifty-seven so months. We follow. Isn't that right, sir? Uh, right. Now bring it home. Today is our day. It was made for the Seventh Infantry. We will win that commendation for our city, and we will return home as champions. Yes, sir! Yeah! Oliver would get the perfect score. I can't let him play. He's asleep anyway. 
I can't hear you. Right up in his face. Cloud, you're not really doing your job hyping me up. <laughs> he was getting so into it. Of course. His inner Zack was coming out. <laughs> When did we last use her? Five years ago, sir. Let's blow off the dust. But, but, sir. Even a ceremonial display would constitute a violation of the ceasefire. Wutai would view it as a willful act of aggression. And? Rufus, you dick. It's a new era. Let's ring it in with a. He really does just want to instigate Wutai. <laughs> Very good, sir. Very good. Nothing like fireworks to rouse the spirits. Mr. President, it's time. Hello. <laughs> Thanks, Aaron, for tier two and thirteen months. <laughs> Hello, Joe. Let's blow off the dust. God, his Rufus's clothes look so much better when he doesn't have that stupid skirt thing. Like when you actually see his pants, uh, he looks so much better. God, we need to mod that shit out. I do really like this cutscene though. Probably because you can't see Rufus' weird belt skirt. Welcome to the celebration of the century. As you can yeah, see, you saw the, the Glen scene already. Are abuzz with excitement. People have turned out in droves to catch a glimpse of the new president, Rufus Shinra. Rufus! I'm your biggest fan. And here comes That's Midgar's gross. mobile unit. Their incredible skills are truly a sight to behold. That seems really dangerous. They, these people hardly even have guards. Just like a chain help like protecting them from this maniac. There he is, folks. Rufus Shinra. Wow! Can you even hear me? Wow, he's so crowd? cool! Uh, the president has stopped. <laughs> I just thought I want somebody in the crowd to say, You suck! It's <laughs> just so bad. And then the cannon will shoot him. I like the old president better! Ready to fire, sir. Welcome to the New World Order. Fire! <laughs> nice skirt. <laughs> Your pants are dumb. <laughs> somebody did. Ladies somebody probably gentlemen. did say that. They're just With really lucky that the, the, the cannon was too loud cannon, for Rufus, Rufus to hear it. Shinra has announced his arrival. Hey, nice skirt. My wife has one just like it. Rufus, stop being so pretty. <laughs> Alright, whatever, Sephiroth. We'll see you later. You join us in Starboard Junon as the final team of the day takes their position. Ladies and gentlemen, Cloud Dad. You Midgar 7th Maybe you. Maybe once upon a time. Team of trained long and hard, determined to win the presidential Previous president, uh, Mr. President. I can't wait to see what kind of <laughs> no, somebody from the crowd. Hey, it's Doofus Shinra. God, I would love to see Rufus getting heckled, and then he uses his rich kid powers. Okay, I want Roche to win. So let's see what happens when you fail. Do they seem a tad nervous? <laughs> they don't seem very coordinated. <laughs> How do I romance the commander? I hope she'll Maybe be an ally in part three. That's Second sequence. <laughs> He's so confident. Second sequence! And everyone's just... They're not in step. I don't know. I think they're doing pretty good. Like, the animation is hardly any different. Okay, if they do look like a mess, never mind. Is something wrong? It's <laughs> something wrong. I'm not sure they know what they're doing. I don't know, they're doing good. Oh, that's 
Oh, I didn't even pick my formations. I just hit. That concludes the first part of today's I just went with it. Wait, some people team. liked it. Our judges are currently tabulating the votes from you, the viewers. I didn't even do anything. Some people and liked it. Here they are now. They're like, oh, it's a bit. It I get it. That's like hilarious. Why do you think the team is marching to the beat of their own drum? Perhaps the captain's orders. Hey, Rufus, what enough? do you think of my Let's game? Hope they manage to turn it around. Hey, doofus. <laughs> Drill team. Halt. Sympathy points. Nah, they probably just think it's a comedic performance. Is something wrong? They're like, oh, we get it because Rufus sucks. What are they doing? Do they, <laughs> like they just keep twirling their guns. Maybe they're still warming up. I love Doofus and Me too. <laughs> they, no, we were just they, thinking about how people would be heckling Rufus in the crowd, saying stuff like "nice skirt." Calling him Doofus Shinra. I like the old president better. The captain and then Rufus would shoot him. I'm not sure they know what they're doing. Damn, That's Cloud's team. Maybe you should have had more practice. Doofus Shinra can't get a proper parade. Sounds about right. No, I think they did pretty good. The seventh infantry concludes the second part of their performance. As ever, our judges have been busy tallying all the votes we've received. Look, like I'm still not doing that bad. It pains me to say it, but if this is the best they can do after all their training, I'd hate to see how they perform on the battle. But people like it. Your standee's dumb. You're not that tall. Hello, Joe. They said my standing wasn't tall enough. They did like my skirt. Left. Face. Formation change. Oh, that's going to cost them. Same animation if you succeed. I think they're just more in sync. Do like the animation is the same, but is something they're wrong. more in sync. That's unfortunate. Final sequence. Begin. I'm not sure they know what they're doing. Maybe they're still warming up. Why is this even like exciting to watch? Like, I can't imagine watching this even if they are in sync and being like, oh fuck yeah, Rufus would be such a great president now. Hey Doofus, your braid sucks. <laughs> they did practice, right? Do they seem a tad nervous? Probably is scared wrong? to heckle him or they get turned to Scarlet's footstool. That the the hypothetical heckler would just be like hoping that he's in the crowd deep enough and so that, that they couldn't pinpoint it to him. The the he's a coward. Oh. Uh, sorry about that. You're not for sorry. the final time. The judges are tallying the votes from you, the viewers. <laughs> like you still do pretty well for not doing oh, shit. It looks like the team had a day to forget out there. At least in the eyes of what, the, the public, public still won. I like they, they like me. To win you over. Who knows? The president may feel differently. You gotta see. Whatever. So we really hear. So I just want to see Ruth uh, Roche win. Take home the commendation. Stay tuned to find out. The crazy motorcycle got in the parade. Absolutely. <gasps> Turk theme. Oh shit! He's caught on tape. Wait, I just realized he looked a bit more like, because he was caught on tape. He did look a bit more like a robed guy and not like the way Glenn looks, not Glenn's robes, like the Marco robes. It was just too like blurry to really tell. Oh, thank you, Rihanna. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> Shinra Middlemare would be a better captain. Yes, sir. Around the clock. They remain unaware. Leave it to me. I want you and your people tracking the ropes. Understood. Go back on the clock. I trust you know the mission by now. <laughs> Call Reno. My friends, allow 
me to congratulate you on a stirring performance. You've done your company proud. Your passion and patriotism is beyond question. And I know our president can't wait to thank you all. Of course, some among you are deserving of special praise. For our first award, we will recognize the division whose exemplary display eclipsed all others. The prize for outstanding performance goes to... <laughs> Rose. Midgar's mobile unit. <laughs> He's so happy. Oh! I love that. <laughs> he signs the camera. <laughs> he deserves it. Oh my god! <laughs> Heidegger's like, not again. Heidegger just peed himself. <laughs> I love this. After all this shit that he goes through later, he deserves this win. He's so dumb. Next, we have the president's commendation. Heidegger. If you would do the honors. <laughs> Oh my god, Rufus, you can't, you can't even get a solid frame rate on your projector. You see that 2 FPS? Oh, Joe, my screen's 2 FPS. turned a small arms manufacturer into the greatest company the world has ever seen and transformed <laughs> all of our lives with the miracle of Mako. So I invite you to join me. Oh, <laughs> this is when people would be heckling. For a great if it's a moment of silence. Person. Screw you, doofus, Shinra! <laughs> we live in challenging I feel like times. He knows. Some may feel that I am too young, too inexperienced to lead us. More but like to them too and to you all, I say this: the Shinra Electric Power Company will endure. The challenges we face. <laughs> Skirts are cool. If we summon our courage and cut ties with the past. Yesterday nice is belt, loser. Us. We must look instead to the promise of tomorrow. For today is a new day. And the first of a long and arduous journey which we must take together. Follow me and we will reach our promised land. This I do solemnly swear before you all. Very as president of the Shinra and movie. Very animated. My friends. Place We're moving so much. It's <laughs> so dramatic. Our dream of a better world. Hmm. Don't flat. Don't flat. You look like a sim now. I believe in you, Mr. President. Now, I have a commendation to present. Oh, Joe, they didn't clap loud the enough. Goes to Midgar's seventh <gasps> infantry. <gasps> Special commendations because they did the so badly. They're like, you guys suck so bad. But I want to make an example out of you for the rest of. Yes! For the rest of Shinra. Definitely rigged though. Definitely, definitely rigged. Classic cheating ass Rufus. Look at him, he's just like this to place. accept this award on behalf of the team. Three of the best will now join me. Come on up. The 
please clap salute. or else. Oh, salute or else. Your performance today was nothing short of incredible. Oh, Mid was it? Seventh Infantry is without a doubt the pride of our people. Congratulations. I have a few private words to say to these troopers. Cut the feed. Sir, you, you're on crowd control. That ain't right. Excuse me. Need to get through. Barrett, over there. Go, Yuffie, go. Of all the times. I rarely talk to the rank and file. Why not take off your helmet? Cloud Strife. That was a first class performance. One worthy of a soldier. Shit, he knows. Stand down. But, sir! You are a fascinating individual, Cloud Strife. Quit full naming him. Your file him. was as gripping as it was enlightening. This is why you have friends, Rufus. Which is General. why I have a proposition for you. At present, Midgar requires my full and undivided attention. The city is Shinra's beating heart. Its devastation is a humiliation, and the world must see us rebuild. To that end, I need to refocus my efforts and push certain duties to one side. Get to the point. <laughs> my father left me a mountain of unfinished tasks, like the recapture of a fugitive of ancient descent. The recovery of a stolen lab specimen. And, of course, the arrest and execution of Avalanche. None of which, frankly, are of any interest to me whatsoever. I'd gladly wash my hands of it all. So what? You're gonna let us go? Just like that? Yes. Provided you keep your distance from Midgar, that is. No more stirring the proverbial pot. And the same goes for me? But why? Because I have a new vision for Shinra. So we go free. And you get? Sephiroth, dead. <laughs> He's an unsavory relic of our past. And I want him gone. But in our current state, Shinra lacks the resources to get the job done. So I turn to you. It's a deal. You have a lead, I take it. The guy's in black robes. Clever you. You know who they are, don't you? According to Hojo, they're connected to Sephiroth. Oh, Hojo. Shadows of the Man, I believe he called them. Follow them and you'll find him. Right. <laughs> yes! Yeah, Seems like a good way up. Ah! <sighs> See, Rufus! Also made a deal with Cloud Tifa and Aerith because he also he needs he needs friends. He's not really friends with Hojo at this point. It's not till later when they're on the helicopter together that they have that friendship bond. So he's like, please just let's work together so I could have friends. We have Rufus that idiot from over here. 
Oh, you sent me a thing. <laughs> it's beautiful. Crawl it after the segment. Thank you. <laughs> we got we got a certain point left. It's perfect. <laughs> yeah. Rufus and Hojo both saw their date one. Oh, they definitely went on that date. They were probably on the sky wheel right next to us. Right before we had to fight, or the, the night before we had to fight Rufus and his rich people powers. I think, I think Yuffie interrupting this mo uh, moment is... Like, it, it's definitely like, oh man, Yuffie ruined it, but it's, I think it's still a cool moment because it interjects her more into the plot. Shit. I don't see little Miss Ninja and anywhere. it's not like Rufus would have played fair always, so like somebody had to do it. And I think Yuffie doing it is perfect. I still would have really liked to see how their alliance would have gone, just out of curiosity. Yuffie doing- yeah, she's the plot ghost. She's just like, uh-uh. No, there was no alliance. Not on my watch. She almost did it too. She almost actually murdered the president. Yeah, she's in a random field in the OG, or you can see her at Wutai. Aww. Alright, Shinra. Time to pay. What happens if you fail? Let's find out. Focus. We miss. So, we have ourselves a deal then. Only if you can honor it. No one comes for us. Not Hojo. Not the <laughs> Our vision's getting no. dark. <laughs> you have my word. Okay, it just restarts. So you have to do it. Just shake it off. Take your time. You know you can do this. <laughs> <laughs> Here goes. Gotcha. Eat shit, doofus. Barret. Oh, get down. Get down, Mr. President. And that's that's the moment Heidegger became Rufus's best friend. You saved my life. Uh, so that's your game. It wasn't us. Spare me. You had your chance. Sir, please. Yeah, Bear calling them out from the crowd though makes it way more suspicious though. Swing the rooftops now! Don't let them get away! And we have a super loud remake, yeah! And then they fixed it! Fixed it! I'm so salty about that. Yuffie, that was her, right? Yeah. What do we do? Bear, I'm not, I'm not bad. <laughs> I wish, I wish it would still have, I wish Rude had that one loud line just as like an homage. To the original mixing. Long gone. Shit. Well, it's like so opposite in this game because everything's like I more quiet. The robed men. He was, <laughs> he was the like port. eating the mic. Let's follow him. Place is on alert. Are you sure about that? We've still got the uniforms. <laughs> Go on without me. I'll take care of the Seventh Infantry. Throw him off the scent. Alone? You sure? Trust that me. should be like in Rude's voice actor's contract. It must have one line that's louder than everyone else. Get going. Thanks, buddies. Sir, your orders. My homies Just are back. New intel. The suspect is in route to Larbor Junon. I'm to convey this information to all nearby units. Go join the search. I'll catch up. If I may, sir, we've heard rumors that there are others in league with the terrorists. Conspirators in stolen uniforms. That's hearsay. For your own safety, sir, allow us to- They just want to help. Midgar's 7th Infantry never leaves a man behind. Right. If the enemy is among us, other units are a potential threat, and we must treat them as such. 
Good point. But you can trust us, sir. Like we trust you. We'll alert all units from here to the port elevator. When that's done, we'll regroup with the rest in Larvor Juno. Got it? Yes, sir! Let's go, boys! This is my squad right here. Hey, so what do you guys think about Rufus? Yeah, he kind of sucks, right? Look at my boys. Me and the boys just gossiping. Got weird pants and shit. Alright, I hope I'm gonna try to keep him alive. Suspects I love that. this part. The captain! Needs us. The captain. <laughs> what if one of them just started using Comet? Whoa, 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 whoa! Who do you think you are? Enough of you. I miss. Bro! Let's go. What the fuck are you shooting at? We'll use a little baby cure. One of them cast ults. I found it a well, sir! <laughs> I wish. <laughs> Doofus. <laughs> I want them to show up in part three. It's, it's a, like when, when they part ways, it's such a one piece moment. Cause they're like, the, the speech they had at the end is so, it's like what they, what they say to Luffy when he leaves. A place. Up ahead. Yes, it's so sweet. They're like, we know you're suspicious as fuck, but you you got us the commemorative badge thing, and we'll never forget get that. I can't wait to walk through these parts again when we have when we're got to break out of the Junon prison section. God, I can't wait to come back here. I mean, it's gonna be under like harsher terms, but I can't wait to be back here. I can't wait to be back anywhere. Right there. That's the room. I think it is, yeah. I think it's supposed to be because there's like the chairs and like the thing, whatever. And you walk through it, and then the fucking dungeon, or whatever, is close by. Quick and clean. Say oh, wait. Enough of you. No, the grenade! Oh my god, I just fucking... Who's, who's got the grenade? Who's got the grenade? There he is. Triple slash his ass. Get him. He's never in doubt. I know, yeah, the pickup materials for New Game Plus is such a nice addition. I, I wouldn't be able to play this game fresh without it. <laughs> He's ruining our lunchroom. No, of course not. Doubt your brothers. Yes, sir. The hell, Cloud? I mean, you're telling them good advice, but also... What the hell? Yeah, E's always hurting. E was my weakest link first playthrough. Mm, I'm gonna bust in with the uh, with some fire. Are you ready? I don't have fire. Damn it! Say goodbye. I'm through with you. Shit! I'm gonna die. <gasps> They're allowed to use potions. Cheaters. No fire! Oh shit, I should've made sure I had fire. Hold on. I need to get my ACD up. Oh 
I'm gonna die. Right, we're good. Don't hit me! I'm trying to like turn my camera to see where the fucking flamethrower guy is. Okay, where is he? Flamethrower. Uh, we can hopefully hit the one behind him too. Still not dead! Okay, one down. Not the shield guy. Target, please. Jesus. Okay. Oh. <laughs> They're all surrounding this dude. <laughs> Hit me. Hit me, I dare you. Hit me, I dare you. <laughs> Good job, guys. But they healed E. No one's dying yet. I should probably do a little baby cure on myself, though, just in case. That was Riot Trooper A Zach moment. Oh no. <laughs> And I laugh. Hey, the point is that he tried. He, he did give me a heal. He tried. We've got this. Oh wait, is this one week to fire? Oh, thank God, lightning! I have like. I keep forgetting to add fire, but this sweeper is a piece of shit. Interrupting. I'm not gonna have enough time to do Infinity's End. Well, I might. If I can find it. It's all because I got freaking blasted by that dude. They're not even here. I'm gonna die. Help! Help! Give me a potion. Thanks. That's <laughs> not gonna do shit. That's because of that chode up there. Being reprieve. This fight is harder than any of the bosses so far. <laughs> because that that dude knocked me out of the stagger part. Okay, I need to add fire materia before I forget. Thanks for me being a chill person. Thanks for also being a chill person. Why is this empty? He fought. I need this more than you. He fought. I'm gonna use regen first. You. Hands where I can see him. Okay, honestly, I. Ah, oh, shit. Because those two are like the main problems. And it would have been nice if I could Faraga. Well, I, no, because Faraga doesn't. Oh my god, I'm getting hit. Oh, he's down there. Sweet. Okay, well now I can stay protected here. While I used to be ETB. No longer protected. Oh, 
I'm blocking. Kill my boys. All right, this is really gonna suck for when we have to fight uh, Roche, but I don't really use that as a Roche. Pretty much just counter. Oh, now he uses charge. Does he only do that when he's pressured? Fuck oh, you, dude. I think I just blocked that. No, I mean, it's really, I mean, it's still okay. All right, now nothing can shoot me out of it, so if they have enough time for infinity, then go, 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 baby. There's another one. <laughs> How about we just go? <laughs> now do it again. Oh my god! <laughs> Wait, can you not come here? <gasps> Wait, oh my troopers are gonna die. This is hard. This is gonna be the harder than the freaking Roche fight. I mean, I have to kill them because it's my my inventory or my my inventory is gonna die. Oh, I gave everyone regen. <gasps> I didn't know you could do that. Bro, can you die up there? Jesus. I could use- no, I can't. I can't use magic. I'm not hitting him. I wish I could. No, my, my people are dying! Oh, fuck, you found me! <laughs> no! Okay, we can limit. He found me. I know, I'm sorry, he, he died. Now there's this chode, but like, I can't reach him from here. All done. All done. Sorry about E. He was always the weakest link. I'm sad. I'm so I tried to save him. It's okay. We saved him first playthrough. That that playthrough was canon. This one's not canon. How about we just go? Weakest link on site potential. Yes, sir. Yeah, you could be Roche with low MP. Just. Punisher, everything he does. I just need to like have regen. Some of these can hopefully give me some MP as I open them. 
Death wheel. The saturation attack. Bro, if you don't want to fucking play, then don't. Why are you running? Why did you show up just to run away? I hate enemies like this. They're just, they're just annoying. Like, why are you even here? Weakness? Okay, we can use- we can try to use Firebolt Blade on these things still. Can't see! Cool, that's so sick that I can't freaking see. Nice, we pressured him. Oh, I wanted to roll. Gotta be careful. Try Going in. Go. Do I have time? Hurry, Cloud. Hurry. Hurry. Jesus, Infinity's end is so slow sometimes. Okay. I know there's a bench there, at least to help my HP. Thanks for all the potions. Oh no, I've been pressured. Time to get even more annoying. <laughs> yeah, I was just like, oh no, I have a shield in front of me. That means the runaway boss that constantly teleport horrible design. I know, I hate it so much. Like, like, yeah, any enemy that just, like, gets away from you. That's how I feel a lot about, like, sometimes in Dark Souls. Or, well, m mostly Elden Ring, where it's like, a char character will attack you and then run away. And you're like, thanks for that. And I wish they didn't even bother with giving you potions. I think the Turks are good guys in Part 3. I hope they defect so bad. Elden Beast strat, right? <laughs> That's his move. That's his gimmick. Worst the ones that won't let up after you are stuck in the corner. Yeah, kind of like, I don't know, my my camera's fucked and I was in the corner, but he was doing something. I'm like, oh, of course, the moment you're doing something, you're, I'm in the corner. You want to make him play about tagging still in a party? I can see them being like ally support units like they did with um, them in the temple. They're definitely not going to join the party, but I can definitely see them being allies. For, even for a little bit, because that is what happens in Wutai, if you do work with them. Alright, fellas, I have, to, I, <laughs> I have a personal matter now. <laughs> The mobile unit would have loved to have you. <laughs> hmm. Oh dear. Congrats on the win. My quarry by has the way. cast you aside. How tragic. Yeah! These degenerates. They should all be working, but they're not. Didn't you know? You and I are living legends. I got this. Sir. <laughs> Alter, yeah. Nice save, Rose. Fighting. The two of us together again at long last. Picture it. 
A duel to end all duels. Are we fighting or what? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We have to set the stage. First, the music! Let's not forget the lights! This is such a Majima thing. <laughs> so funny. Actors! Look at as actors. Oh, you got Reflex. <laughs> Good thing I can't use magic on you, because I don't have the MP. Wait, what's his element? Do I have fire element on? Fuck, can't go and punish her faster. It's not for focus source. No, oh, I missed. No, he came back. Cloud. Hurry, 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 hurry. Ooh, knocked right into his next phase. Let's freaking go. Okay, apparently not. <laughs> Bazen is so cool, but it stresses me out. And we have a reputation to live up to. Come, let's give the people a proper spectacle. <laughs> no. Well, now he means business, so. Got ran over by him. No! No, Punisher, go off! He's gonna kill me! <laughs> My ankles, I'm gonna die. Hurry! All right, that's my last heal. I don't have time to regen. Oh, I've reprieved. I've died. <laughs> Damn it. First phase is so easy that he does all the crazy stuff. Rush finally wins one.
Damn you. Regen would go up during the cutscene, so it's just healing me as he's yapping. See, this works because he, he's impervious to magic anyway. Oh god, he's so gonna kill me. I have to. I have to cure. 14 though. I'd be so screwed though. I don't have enemy skill on him. Yeah, I don't know how you avoid that. It's like a charge slam now. Wait a minute! Oh, the limit break save! <laughs> I don't know how to deal with this electric bike. Next time, I think putting electric element here, element area, element materia on your armor would help. I should have checked. <laughs> He's so mad. My friend. Yo. So cool. Sorry about your bike. Maybe when his bike crashed, he like, he snapped out of it. Oh, the wheel, <laughs> the tire. And that's when he's just like, all right, Hojo, juice me up. I swear, you get better, Sorry about your ass. Faster with every lap. God, apologize about his bike. Who's next? This, this match third bike this alone. week. What if this was his last one, Ladies though? And gentlemen, I give Hojo you cut him off. Champion. Like they stopped giving him bikes. Hit me with the Hojo special. <laughs> Hojo special being incompetent. Genova Your juice. journey here was a rather arduous one, it would seem. If your troops had shown any less valor, Easy. I dare say you may not have made it at all. Yeah, his second phase was sketchy. I don't know how well to handle done, it. Other than having two. lightning materia. I, present your captain a gift. I got really lucky with the limit. Here. Oh yeah, he did destroy the first one in remake with Jesse. I forgot it blew up in the background. And then he got like another one. That's your cue to exit. Yonder elevator will take you down. I didn't get a keychain. I already have it. <laughs> Wait, he gave us a potion. I didn't even see. I'll be right behind you. Aww. Accept, accept it. What if Cloud did one of these? <laughs> Suit yourself. <laughs> accept the kiss from Roche. This is gonna be your last chance. You'll never be able to accept any kisses from him ever after this. Well, you could. He gave us a Potoin instead of a keychain. I wish he did, same. Trooper E died, you have different dialogue too. Oh, I did? Sorry, Trooper E. So you only get his keychain if you save everyone, if you don't, you get a shitty Potoin. Oh, they're all saluting! Oh my god, I have so much respect! Because I'm bleeding out. Got a high potion. Got the money. I'm just stealing from this company now. Got a grenade. He'd be a fun party member. 
Roshan, Broden, Zach, and Aerith, and Glenn will all be okay in part three. All of our favorites. What if, like, at the end in part three, when, like, Aerith reaches her hand out and, like, saves the world, we just see other hands and we know they belong to Roshan and Broden? Well, I mean, Roshan isn't dead. He's just... He's, you know... He's a Hojo tool now. I understand how you went from this to that scene with Hojo. I know, because it is it does suggest that like he willingly went there. But like I'm what I'm thinking what I'm thinking happened was that uh there was some sort of miscommunication where Roche is like, make me stronger, and then Hojo gave him something experimental. Which he even said, because he's just like, this used to take how long, but now it takes 16 hours kind of deal. So it seems like Hojo maybe had something new to give him and that's what fucked him up because like the degradation happened faster as well because like we we already we already know that hojo's a horrible scientist so whatever he did to him probably wasn't what roche agreed on from the get-go <laughs> yeah Aerith. <laughs> Aerith and trooper e saving the world no he's not look this is the different timeline where trooper e died okay the main timeline he's alive if they conveyed that more, maybe you feel less stressed. Maybe that's what they were going for and they like ran out of script budget or something. But yeah, I think a lot of this game has has a lot of like filling in the blanks yourself a little bit. That's just how I interpreted it from that scene. Because in like, I don't know, because I, I feel like this game is really good at making you know Roche and that he probably wouldn't do this willingly. And the fact that Hojo's just like, oh, this new formula does this now. Like to me, that meant like, Hojo has no idea what he's doing. And I don't think Roche- Again, like, Roche even seemed like he was in pain, you know? Like, I don't think Roche wanted that. Hey, Mesa. What if Trooper E showed up at the end instead of Aerith? <laughs> he's just praying. Like, who the hell are you? You're not Aerith. I'd be so over for Sephiroth. That's when he goes, I underestimated you. <sighs> Sorry, I killed one of your friends. You guys had Lardboard without me. Sir, I have to ask. Oh, the jackass with the bike? He's... a jackass. That we know, sir. <laughs> what I wanted to ask is, why you keep trying to shake us? Are we really that much of a burden to you? Or are you the assassin everyone's looking for? For what it's worth, I want you to know. I'm sorry. <laughs> no need to take the joke that far, Captain. They're laughing. We know the Trooper E's dead and they're laughing. Just lightening the mood. But we get it. You clearly have things to do. Things you can't divulge to us. We're sorry that we didn't see it sooner, sir. Sorry, sir! It's okay. At ease. The fact is, we would have never won that commendation if you hadn't brought us all together. I might be out of line for saying this since we only just met, but the seventh feels more like a family than ever, and we, we hope you True. feel the same. You're not out of line. Trooper E's dead, and it's they're like, we feel more like a family. You know what? Maybe I did them all a favor. Right. Maybe Trooper E was an asshole. Time you guys went your way, and I went mine. <laughs> That's the empty space where Trooper E should have been. <laughs> Count on it. <laughs> That's so sad. Wait. Oh, look at that clearly empty space. No. <laughs> That's really sad. What if they all die? Probably won't get this scene. Imagine only like one shows up. Look, even if Trooper E was an asshole, he was still part of my troop. Bye, fellas. Yeah, that whole like, you made us feel more like a family than ever felt very One Piece to me. Like, whenever Luffy saves a country, they always have, like, a nice speech for him. And how Luffy helped everyone because he's the best. 
But then Luffy doesn't want to hear it. He just wants to leave before they start thanking him. We'll see Trooper E back in main timeline, absolutely. Look, I may be bleeding out, but it's okay, because the new chapter is going to start, and we'll be in on that Queen's blood. Can we please sit still? Just trust in Shinra? Think they caught whoever was behind that attack yet? <sighs> you okay? Yeah. Great. Bye, Razor. Let's not keep our friends waiting. We better get in line. All right. Next. Got him just lining up. Screening passengers. What now? We try the back door. All four of us, the four that scored you all the way here, just four, no more. <laughs> like, hmm. I don't know, I, I swear I remember a fifth one. I don't know what you're talking about. There's always been four. God, this guy. Can My I sideburns, you? loser. Yeah, the only person yeah. I pull off sideburns is Law. We are the winners of the president's commendation. As a reward, we got a trip to Costa del Sol. Very funny, so he shoves them. The chief said that we could hitch a ride on your ship. First time hearing of this. Well, the president's a busy man. Those guys with you too? <laughs> Where'd they come from? They're just lining up to play Clean's Sorry, but Blood. You need it on deck. The fight's broken out. <sighs> Looks like we're in for another fun crossing. Got space and It is interesting cross. how they treat the rogue sure dudes, because that one was cubes, huh? that one was straight up in line, and like the dude had the pad in front of him, like he checked him in, like, oh sir, thank you for your ticket, you're all checked in now. Like that's weird. A rogue man wouldn't do that. And like now they're just like ready to be stowaways and everyone's just like, oh, they're with you. I don't know. They treat them weird. If it's it's unnatural. A lot of big wigs on board. As for you. Because they always treat them like shit work. sometimes, and other times they don't even <laughs> acknowledge nice them sir. as any different. That's <laughs> pulling up sideburns. <gasps> Got it. He is not a dog. He's red. Just play along. Look how pissed off he is. Hojo orders to just let him pass. Yeah, like, I guess. All clear. Up. And they'd have to have somebody tell them to let them pass. <laughs> bye bye, Kyrie. I have a ticket. Come on, man. You can't leave without me. Oh, you got money. Step right up. Best day ever. I don't have to deal with her ass. Woo! Complete chapter four. Yes. Another one down. Not chapter five. That was long. That took like three hours. Well, I did do sidestep as well. It's because I needed the, the dumb books. I love this chapter. Chess and magic, some would say. Yeah, big demand for Kyrie. I hope not. Okay, chapter five is just Genova. Okay, makes sense. Well, that was hard. The air is different here. Isn't it? Compared to Midgar, very different indeed. Though perhaps a little sharp for my taste. <laughs> a Titanic version of the Ah. Yeah, Mai is so much worse than Kyrie. Yeah, everyone's leaving Midgar, even Kyrie's grandma shows up out of Midgar. Like, why would anyone still live there? Time for a little reconnaissance. Like, holy shit, plates are falling now? I gotta get out of here. What's the next one? Oh, oh, stay away! Oh, poor Red. Oh. But honestly, though, like, why? He doesn't look like a cute little, like, stuffed animal dog. <laughs> Like, he's got big claws, big- his tail's on fire, he's got a missing eye, tattoos. 
Like, he's clearly not just like a dog. Ever see that Faz guy again? No, but there These are kids are dumb, is what I'm getting at. No, I'm not shaming. It's just that, like, why would these kids run up to this dog? I mean, I would pet, pet him and tell him he's a good boy because I know him. But, like, I'm not going to look at Dark Star, Rufus's dog, and be like, oh, it's a baby. No, because I know that dog probably sucks because it's Rufus's. But that's what I'm getting at. Like, Red doesn't look like a typical cute dog you would just pet. We like him because we know him. Yeah, it's like petting a wild tiger. Exactly. Like, tigers are cute, but you don't know them. Anyway. Who's Faz? I'm here if you want to talk. Freddy Fazbender, whatever his name is. Uh, Faz Bear. Actually, I was kind of hoping we could talk business. <laughs> I just combined uh, Freddy and Michael Fazbender. What kind of business? Boys. You know, business. <laughs> you guys enjoying petting your tigers? <laughs> Meeting adjourned for now. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's right, you stupid boy. You so don't know what they're talking about. All the robes are in second class. Haven't seen any sign of Shinra, though. We can ditch the uniforms. Like, the fact that the robes are even in line is funny. Like, they know well, basic it's manners. Been an honor, Captain. Hey, about this deal Rufus wanted to make with you. I know it's off thanks to little Miss Ninja's stunt, but personally, I think she did us a favor. Nothing good ever came from making deals with the devil. Shinra can't be trusted no matter who's in charge. So Ladies true. And gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. Good evening. Welcome aboard the Shinra Inc. Oh, Faz was some guy who helped Aerith escape, but was a creep. He was in one of the books. Oh, book character lore. Cool. I didn't know that. Thank you. Holy the shit, they're bringing soul. Glenn and Please Faz? Right on Though your time with us may be brief, I do want to read the books. I just have never point. gotten around to it. As for this evening's onboard entertainment, we will thank you for the Queen's insight. Blood tournament in the lounge. Any and all interested guests are welcome to join regardless of experience. See the lounge staff for details. You heard the man. To the lounge. <laughs> Come on. Wait, so what was she saying about Faz here? Because since I didn't know Faz, I kind of just like went in one ear and out the other. Was she saying that he was a creep? Like, she'll tell me Leslie's in this game. He is, though. <laughs> I thought I wasn't gonna see him, and then he popped up in a side quest. Surprised the hell out of me. Yeah, all the weapons are good on hard mode. It's just it it depends on your playstyle. Like if you want to use more magic or whatever, or if you just want to look cool wearing the Buster Sword. Poor Leslie, I'll beat the shit. I know. And for like a second, you thought he could save his girlie, but he didn't. Oh, these are the inspections. All right, there's gonna be an alien on ship. Make sure you inspect that. Women, let me in. <sighs> Sneezy and control. I didn't sneeze. I didn't sneeze a single time. Open the door already. Yuffie? <laughs> I didn't. I don't think I heard that last time. You've asked she ever saw Faz again. Hera said sometimes she thinks we she doesn't freeze up, but it's never been him. Oh, okay, thank you. So did they retcon Faz being a creep if he was a creep? Because if Aerith's like, it seems like Aerith would speak fondly about him. Yeah, I don't know if she was in there either. I don't think I heard that when I first played. If he was the one who started the fight on the deck, probably. Seems like her. I got tired of being cooped up. Who answered it? Oh yeah, I can. Wait, I can add the point and laugh now. 
<laughs> it looks just like Keck. I'm gonna do Sid Keck. Sid Keck. It's beautiful. Time to play some Queen's Blood. Oh, what is this Genova? What's what's this one's deal? Enemy intel. Let's see. This chapter. Were we on chapter five? Chapter five thoughts. Okay, are the Geno- oh, which one is it? Emergent? No, weakness. Working damage will pressure it. Destroying these discrete parts. Top secret Shinra experimental specimen. A fragment of its carcass that's fused with the robe individual is granting it this twisted form. Is able to induce hallucinations that warp the very space around it. This one's so jiggly. The calamity from the stars that fell into a deep slumber after its conflict with the Cetra. Newly awakened through the grace of black robe sacrifice, it seeks to seep its way into the live stream, bring about the end. So cool. I like its like bone skirt. <laughs> There's a lot of skirts in this game. God, its skull face is so sick. Straight up survival horror boss, it's amazing. Not supposed to know it, Genova's an alien. This is the one you fight later, that's why I already have the thing. But... But no, in, in the Nibelheim flashback, um, Sephiroth, when he's reading the book, he mentions that, like, 2,000 years ago they found this thing and kind of suggests it's an alien already. It must be him missing the launch again. We'll see. I guess you only see Genova twice in this. I do really like this one, too, though. Like... Just the part that attaches to the ceiling is just so disgusting. Like, it's just festering from the ceiling and hanging there. It's so gross. See your eyes in the last one when they zoom in on her face? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, it doesn't have the blue. Wait. Oops. Oh, shit. So what happens to those... Do they go up? Oh yeah, the, the the bone jaw part that goes down it looks like it like curls up a little bit. Ew, it's so gross. Can't wait. I the, all the Genova designs are so good. They're all very different too. I can't wait to see the one that you have to fight with as Hojo. Or like is Hojo. And they don't show a transformation of this? That would be cool. They didn't show- I mean, they were kind of creative with Vincent's transformations. With, like, the shadow. Night Arid grew horns when a wish grew a spine, which grew a spear. <laughs> it's just non-stop. Yo, she is vibing. Anyway, so she doesn't have a weakness. I mean, I can go through my materia now real quick. Yeah, did I have elemental... I did have elements of fire and ice, so it's a good thing because he was weak to one of them. Who do I fight? Wait. I can't remember. Do I get to choose my party with Genova, or is it a predetermined one? 
I'll I'll worry about that later. You know what? It's card game time now. I'm not worried about Genova yet. Stephen Barrett. Okay, thank you. Attention, passengers. The Queen's Blood Tournament will be starting shortly. This is your last chance to. But sign first, up. we must play the, the card game. Today's competition will take ashore a trophy as well as a. We get to see card. Vincent on a card. No cards. Play fun scrubs no with red and Aerith the first, though. Okay. So come and join in the fun. So put materia on everyone. Well, well, well. Look who it is. So, you playing? I might. <laughs> then I might see you around. Hi, Red. Do you want to play cards? Shh, it's okay. I won't tell them. I won't tell them your plan. You are getting in on this too? Solely as a means to study human leisure activities. Now, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> now, if you'll My excuse me. <laughs> sir, but I'm afraid animals are not Hey, you let him play! What? I'm no mere animal, thank you. <laughs> let him play! Come on, he's better than you at it anyway. I love this. He gets up on the That's counter. It. I want to speak with your manager. <laughs> You're pretty good at this game, huh? Yep, I guess. <laughs> Good enough to beat me, though? Aww. I guess we'll find out. That's it. A little friendly competition could be fun. And who knows? One of us might win it all. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, you won't go far with that attitude. Oh, ye of zero faith. Ah, now's my chance. I'll be right back. You join in? Hell yeah, I am. Fabulous prize here. I come. Hell yeah, I am. Cool. He's still wearing the sailor suit. But maybe change first. <laughs> Out of this? No, I'm starting to dig it. Tell me I don't look good. <laughs> like I was born of the prime. Now's your chance. Let's do this. Thanks, Noel. Take part in the Queen's blood. Oh, did they say no? Look, he's already formulating his plan. Why am I only just now learning this is restricted to humans? There should be a sign. There should be a sign. First of all, there should be a sign. Second of all, Nibelheim's got like chocobos and shit playing. There's a dog there's do a dog in North Corel is playing, okay? There's no excuse for this, Red. This discrimination. Oh, he's stretching! Oh, and the, the, the kick, the kick. Ah! <laughs> um, anyway, <laughs> cute dogs aside. Here's discrimination. Queen's blood. I guess so, as long as my dog can play. So, who should I say is competing? Cloud Strife. Oh, you're Mr. Strife. As it happens, we received a message for you. Okay. Odd, I know, but if I may, it pleases me to see you continue your queen's blood Do you think journey, that's Vincent Mr. Strife? talking to us? May a sanguine thirst consume you for many matches to come. Signed, a friendly specter. Goodness me. That's quite the letter, isn't it? That sounds like something Vincent Vincent's would say. joke of some sort? Well, you're all set to join. <laughs> Chadley. And have a great time today. Probably is. Do we know? Do we know who sent it? I can't remember. I'm just gonna say it's Vincent. Welcome to the Shinra Eights Queen. Oh, the oh, the drow, the 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 ghost Only one dude. Of our card will yeah. Walk away with the trophy and the glory in today's so anyway, Vincent. But who will it be? I, Titog, will be your host for this spectacular event as we seek to crown our next Queen's Blood Champion. Every journey begins with a single step, so put your best foot forward and seek out your first competitor. We can forfeit. Like, wait, does this skip? A sure way to a does that skip if you don't want to do it? Oh, I want to do it. Welcome. 
Do we need new game plus cards? Nope. I got them all. Oh man, they're all like the rainbow icon. Oh, I'm so screwed. Chadley won. I'm so screwed. I'll be right back. You holding your own against the others? You holding your own against the others? Jesus Christ, is that him? Is it? Has it been this guy? He's small talking. This guy. That's a. That's an empty bottle for sure. And he. He's just. He's just social drinking, trying to make friends. So, uh, you holding your own against the others? Stop asking me that. Here, who did we play last time? The robot? I fought him last time. Let's find somebody else to play. If you want to win, you hold it out against the others? Oh, I want to play Barrett! You think we were down in the hole. I don't even know who you are. Wait, is it just those two options right now? Huh? Boring. Alright, well, I fought the robot already. Oh, hey, dude. You my next opponent? Yeah, dude. Name's Felix. This is gonna be totally sick. I don't care about everything cool. Felix. You a little tense. Just remember, it's only a game. <laughs> Just shut up and play. Okay, dude. If that's how you roll, it's all good. Ready? Set. Okay, he's like, damn it, I want to enter the tournament. Oh, I want Vincent to enter the tournament. All right, Felix, don't kick my ass. Wakes up once a year to participate in the Queensland tourney. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, look, there's a Vincent card. Oh my god. I hope he wins it every year. I'm sure this is fine. Whatever. I'm ready when you are. Yo, this Wait, smack talk so, already. Uh, which do I lead with? Felix, don't talk. Shh. Oh, he's got the hang. Ah, T-Tob! Leave me alone! Hi, Vincent. Bring it. Do I want to use this? Or this? And there's more where that came from. Is he a delete your cards? Delete his cards kind of guy? I'm gonna death plot up just in case. You're mine. Hi, Vincent. Is cool and composed. He's top. Shut your mouth. He's got Rufus! Wait, what does Rufus do? I need to get him. Creates an intimidating large number of positions around him when play. That is such a rich kid card to do. Or to like have. Like, it's just fake friends cards. God damn it. Everything about Rufus is so funny to me. Anyway, wait, what does he do? That doesn't even like nothing happens. Nothing happened. Anyway, we'll just let Rufus pretend he's playing the game. No holding back. Cloud keeps the hits coming as he maintains a solid advantage. Decorum be damned, folks. Felix is taunting his opponent. I don't really need. No, oh, he's gonna take it over. I mean, I will win that, but I kind of want the jockey there, but I can't put him there. You're mine. It'll take a miracle for Cloud to come back from this. What are you Still talking about? <gasps> Hi, Rude. Bring it. Yeah, this game rocks. I think that smug smile on Felix's face says it all. No holding back. This match isn't going in Cloud's favor. Can he still turn things around? Okay. We've gotta turn this around somehow. I mean, I can only put Rude here, but nothing. Well, look You're at mine. those. Jockey? Dude, am I like actually good at this? Felix is just rubbing it in now. Have mercy. Alright, well, he can't take any turns. I can. I can win this easy. Bye, Vincent. No holding back. <laughs> Cloud 
throat isn't letting up the pressure one bit. I got this. Okay, I already won, but I want to win more, so. Bring it. Come on, man. You saw <gasps> him. He's no, he's got to replace the card. No, I should have just. I'm still winning. He's asleep at the wheel. Wait, is he actually sleeping? I mean, I could. I mean, do you give up? Do you have more cards to replace? <laughs> That's what I thought, sucker. Win the most. The most win. <laughs> 14. <laughs> Who's next? That's a win for Cloud. His star is on the rise. Don't forget to report your results to tournament staff so we can make that Woo! official. Wait, do I have to actually report it? That's one of these tournaments. I won. Well done. Let's hope round one is the first of many wins. Keep up the good work in round two. <laughs> Knows about missing Turk and made a card about him. I should be honored. He probably called it in and be like, hey, uh, can I have a card? Wait, who? Okay, so that's. We played Tifa already. We kicked her ass. Oh, let's. Wait, Aerith and then it's Barret. I'll play Barret. Barret! You didn't have your heart set on winning big tonight, because I'm going to whoop your ass. He really thinks. That's a good one. Bear look nervous. You won't be laughing when I'm done with you. Now draw. Challenge Bear to a match. I'm gonna use the Vincent card on you just for me. Doesn't really do anything. I really need to get the Rufus card so it also doesn't do anything. <laughs> Other than just is rich. Mulligan. Um. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm ready when you are. I it's on. Barrett is taking no prisoners in today's competition. Your mind. Cloud is cool and composed. His focus unmatched. Watch out, cause Barrett's coming for you. All guns blazing. No holding back. Cloud keeps the hits coming as he maintains a solid advantage. Bam, son! You're going down. I'm just getting warmed up. Bring it. I ain't done yet. Bring it on! That's the way. I could try to hope I get another replacement card. Bring it. I'm gonna turn this around. You see if I don't. Watch Damn it. Out, Barrett's coming Damn it! All guns blazing. Ooh, I've got a feeling Barrett might need to gracefully accept defeat. Is this would help with death claw? Oh, no, it's only enemies. Oh shit. Pressure one bit. Bam, son. You're going I mean, down. he's still not. I think it's clear that Barrett is okay. Oopsie. <laughs> Still don't want to play with her. Hey, did you see the crowd around Aerith? She's got a lot of people playing with her. The fuck's a Vincent? He doesn't know yet. I don't have a single one. I would... What if they don't let you mulligan? Well, I guess the card you can get. Um... <laughs> I'm ready when you are. Barrett is taking no prisoners in today's competition.
Yo, I'm have such a solid bottom row. Cloud is cool and composed. His focus unmatched. Watch out, cause Barrett's coming for you. All guns blazing. Look at that. There's more where that came from. All right, let's put her down. I could win the middle right. one. Cloud keeps the hits coming as he maintains a solid advantage. I mean, I want him. From the jaws of defeat. I don't. I don't want him getting the middle. I kind of want to let him put a card down so that I could take it over with Titan. I guess I can do that as well. No holding back. They might want to. Can his opponent recover? Turn it into a mobile game already. Oh dear. Alright. Just gotta keep this up. God. He's got a headache all the No! No! Damn you! Hi, Reno! Reno, help! Oh my god, that's my Reno. He's praying to Marlene! Watch out! Cause Barrett's coming for you. All guns blazing. Ooh, I've got a feeling Barrett might need to gracefully accept defeat. I mean, with that, oh, no holding back. Cloud's opponent had better watch out. He's hungry like the wolf. For what can victory. I? That's Give me Dio. Way. Damn it! Oh well, we're gonna so win. We're winning every row, Barrett. I'm and I'm spot. not even done yet. You see if I don't. Oh no, not Ying Yang. That's fine. Thanks. Thanks for that. Your mind. Cloud isn't letting up the pressure one bit. There's Dio. I mean, I know we won. Yo, <laughs> top row. <laughs> Just get it to start up 20. The last row would lose by four points, but I just wanna I just wanna win more. It's fine. Thanks for the game, Barrett. Give me all of the rows. Sorry kid, this is Yu-Gi-Oh! This is so much better than Yu-Gi-Oh! Cause it's got a Vincent card. Did I ruin his life? Alright, GG's Barrett. Do so you fry score? I have not checked yet. You put in another impressive performance. I hope not. Looking forward to hearing good news about round three. Look, he has his round cloud two, sticker on his face you. already. He's a fan. Intense. Okay, this is between Andrea and Madam Emery. This decision could very well determine I think we fought Andrea last time, right? So we can fight Madame Man this time, right? Madame Webb. I have two card games refuse to read card effects in. <laughs> oh, for the... you haven't forgotten me. I do have. Perfect. Madame M? Back in Wall Market, we shared an intimate moment. How does he not I remember? Oh, they're pretty hard to forget. <laughs> Wait, why are you here? Vacation? <laughs> Pleasure is what I prefer, but it's business. Opportunities in Midgar are drying up, so I thought I'd try rubbing some of my friends out west the right way. Yeah. <laughs> he had to shake himself. <laughs> He's still looking at his hand. You had to shake off the hand memory to be like, wait, why are you here? Absolutely. Yeah, hers is so much better. If Tifa here is wins. Yeah, where's Era to stir the posh? Be like, that's the one. Hi, Reno. I'm gonna mulligan you for a moment. I'm ready. 
I didn't say anything. Now then, how shall I leave this time? Vincent and Reno in the same place. The you rang. <laughs> Did he finally get a phone? Ooh, you're going to be sore after this. Girl? No holding back. Look at me replacement the cards, and thanks. I mean, but it's a death claw. I don't want to replace well. it. Madaman is not pleased with this match. Mmm, the letter of the top for a bit. Ooh, I, I should take it over. Still pull this off. Still can take over that top one. Keeps the hits coming as he maintains a solid advantage. No, Reno! Oh, it's Harry on my death claw. This is no gentle massage, folks. Madam M is crushing it. Bring it. I've got you wrapped around my little finger. Ooh, you're going to be sore after this. Madam. Not looking good. <laughs> can you please stop talking? <laughs> Back. He may be down, ladies and gentlemen, but Cloud is not out. Madam M must be winning. You can hear her cackling with delight. Cackling. Bring it. I've got you wrapped around my little finger. Healthy competition always gets the blood flowing. Okay. Gotta turn this around somehow. Yeah, but how? That card's helping us too much. Could drop that into Death Claw. Oh, but then it's gonna be boosting. Okay. Um. You're mine. You may have the upper hand now, but just wait. After this match, I think Madam M's the one who'll need a massage. No holding back. Cloud's opponent had better watch out. He's hungry like the wolf for victory. Damn it, I was gonna put Rude there. After this. That's the way. Well, if they destroy another card, 20 to 10. I didn't get to put Jockey or Tifa down for the free extra points. Be winning. You can, hear you can the win the top row. Delight. Kill somebody else. It strains in both my death claws. Go ahead. <laughs> Easy. <sighs> Fine. You win, Cloud. <laughs> I have to hand it to you, though. That performance certainly hit all the right spots. She's freaking me out. Hi, I won. Must report their match results to tournament staff before we can proceed. Incredible. Look, he's got his buttons of Cloud now. <laughs> this is so cloud. funny. I can't <laughs> wait to see what you do in round four. Round three is now complete. The final act is close at hand. Round four is upon us. Welcome to the semifinals. Wow. Cloud is Chadley! How are you even playing this? Where You're a robot. Cloud. Cloud. Cloud! Would you like to play a match? Where do you get those buttons? I know how they get them made so fast. I was told that they have like a freaking I was FedEx. I just had to see or like a staples on board. Cloud! No, not in the least. Though if anyone were to feel threatened, it really ought to be you. Someone's he definitely confident. looked up some Yu-Gi-Oh pointing. Quite confident. Well, Cloud, let's throw down, as they say. He's so throw down. I wish he said something about heart of the cards. That would have been. I don't know if it's like copyright statement or anything, but it'd be funny if just the thought of Chadley like looking up card game strats and he just gets like Yu-Gi Yu-Gi-Oh references. Yugi boy. Or you call him Cloud Boy. Cloud Boy. My grandpa's deck. 
Yeah, anything. That would've been so good. Let's my, go down, as they say. my starting deck kind of sucks. Hey, are you a are you a destroying deck kind of guy? Because I got There's two death cards ready to go. Bring it. Oh, ring it. Current projections show my victory is all but assured. It should come as no surprise that Chadley is What's projected tension? to win. No holding back. Cloud keeps the hits coming as he maintains a solid. Oh, no, no, no! Opponent's heart rate indicates fight or flight response. Has Chadley miscalculated? I can't believe it. Has Chadley miscalculated? Celebrating due to unforeseen action. No, that middle spot. I mean, it helps. With my death claws, I'm so happy I put down two death claws. <gasps> Hi, Vincent. Oh, he's gonna have he's gonna be weak by plus minus one. Your mind. Cloud keeps the hits coming as he maintains a solid advantage. Opponent's heart rate indicates fighter. But we response. plus two it. Oh, no. Look at his own cards. Exceeding initial projections. Back to normal. Anyway. No! Damn you! <laughs> Every time! Galleon Beast is here. If I, I can't put him dead center. The only good place to put Galleon Beast is like these two spots. Because then otherwise he uh he ruins your cards. <laughs> they only transform in Japan? Oh. You should have said that. Wait, well I can put down Reno here later. We need to block this path first. But he's, he's gonna take my... He's gonna take that middle row. I have to... Oh, I don't know. I really want to put something in the middle. I could put Rude, I guess. Because I would take that spot, too. And the top one. Well, he well he, he can't... Yeah, I'd have to do this. I could put Reno, too, he's but... Like the wolf for victory. Opponent's heart rate indicates fight or flight response. A rare misstep by Chadley, but will it cost him dearly? Your mind. Opponent exceeding initial Cloud, I believe you are a cheating cheater. I'm exceeding initial projections. He's strengthening my death claws. I'm gonna strengthen Reno. Cloud isn't letting up the pressure Cloud. one bit. Thank you for the death claws. Like, he's just evening it up, because he's he's strengthening his cards, but also mine. Oh, a jockey! Oh, it's over, you little nerd. You're mine. Exceeding initial projections. Go ahead. Go ahead, Chadley. Thank you for the plus two. I don't have to do anything anymore. Wait, can I add? I could take minus some from the chocobo and just give it to... I don't really need to do anything. Well, I guess Deathclaw to... <laughs> to Brood. I mean, I don't need... I mean, he could keep putting more cards out and strains more of my Deathclaws. I don't have to do anything. I just want to see how much more I could win, but I don't know how long this man, man dragger thing. Oh, he keeps. He's gonna keep going. Yeah, my heart rate indicates that. Whatever you say, Chadley. Go ahead. Oh, we're replacing those cards now. We're getting fancy, Chadley. I should just. I could just take that spot. And then he couldn't put anything there because he's kind of annoying me now. <laughs> it's just like, okay, Chadley. You got another one? one well, he he destroyed something in the top row, but I can just put Tifa there. Oh, it stacks? Well, he just gave me more points because now Tifa added the plus five. Exceeding initial projections. All right. No problem. Are we are we done, Chadley? Are we gonna keep doing this? Is that Gilgamesh? I think it is. What does he do? <laughs> Look out! He's almost got six points. <laughs> Oh, 
Good job, Chadley. Can I have your Gilgamesh card? Should have bet on it. The highest I got was like 90 to Nicely 0. Done, I don't even remember how. That was quite the match, I must say. Was I'm it? looking forward to you winning it all. Chad, the annihilation. Look at that. Look at him. Who's talking to me? Oh, her. Bye bye, Chadley. Bye bye. Yo, he, <laughs> he is turning to look at me. Maybe I have this path. Look at me. Oh my god, I'm, they love me. They really love me. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah, that jockey card. Chadley, you ate shit. Why isn't everyone else- does everyone else have cloud stickers and buttons on them? No. Why isn't Shudder middle manager here? Was that Felix? Alright, she might kick my ass. Got the Tifa Nerith book! Oh shit! We were just talking about something from it, and I want to read it. The one to lose to, Regina Conagan. Regina Falange. Until now. I think those brutal challenges even harder after that. Oh no, what have I done? I'm not just gonna beat you. I'm gonna I love this song. We'll see about that. Everyone always. Yeah, red in costume is such a highlight. You'll see indeed. Well, she her last name could have been Phalange. And it's not. German for queen, I you see you. Oh, she's a destroyer card person, right? Nice frog. Regina outdoes herself with every hand. It's incredible. You're mine. So, do you want me to crush you now or toy with you first? One piece is real. Ooh, and I could put Dio there. No holding back. Cloud is cool and composed. His foot is unmatched. What a play by Regina. She's the one to beat, folks. Bring it. A masterful play from Cloud. Can his opponent recover? I'm all set. Vincent in the front lines. Let's go. Good Proud of my boy. And I'm gonna try to put Reno up top. Regina, Regina, Regina what, what is people. this? No holding back. <laughs> Just you wait. That's the way. <gasps> That's why. Bring it. Cloud isn't letting up the pressure one bit. Cloud's Hell no, I'm not. Watch out. He's hungry like the wolf for victory. I got this. No problem. Yes, I won all the rows. Cloud isn't letting up the pressure one bit. Oh shit, no, she's got the What a play by Regina. She's the one to beat, folks. I saw that replacement card because I have it, but she didn't didn't help her. I could do it. It strengthened my Vincent card. I can like well, I'd lose if I strengthen the Vincent card. I, mean, I don't really need to do anything. I won. Another Just you full wait. board. Look at that Dio with the 16. Uh oh. Uh oh. He's just strengthening my my death claws some more. Cloud isn't letting up the pressure one bit. Is the announcer even looking at the board? God, I really wish I had the Shinra middle manager card so I could have all of her points too. The Shinra middle manager card's hilarious. Like, when you win a row, you also get the points of the loser. So, like, I could have just straight up had like 23 plus 14 in a row. No, there's no way. Oopa time. All right, the, the best match coming up, the though. Is going wild. Upset. 
Ladies and gentlemen, after that heated battle, we are finally ready to crown the winner of tonight's tournament. I present to you. Not so fast, good captain. <laughs> I want to show my hand. How is he so good at that? Nothing to it. <laughs> Glad they keep it. What a twist! At the eleventh hour, a bold new challenger has taken the stage. But will our champion agree to face him? And is our man Look at him! I know I can't wait to find out. Two legs. Seriously? Though I am far from a humanoid, <laughs> the illusion can be maintained with the aid of a little flamboyance. Impressed? No. I am. Don't let prior knowledge blind you. Clear your mind and take another look. The red can do this as a dog. I can't even do this as a human. <laughs> he stumbles to the chair. <laughs> but enough talk. I've issued you a challenge, Cloud. Face me if you dare. <laughs> Hard pass. Oh my god. Come on, Cloud. Kick his butt. You got this, Red. Oh, yeah. It's all. I <laughs> they all know it's him. No one's trying to be like, who is that? Get ready to shuffle. Dude, Red's like. No. Humans only, huh? Be more like Red. Let's play. Yo, the transition. Red's gonna get his ass beat. I'm not gonna let him win. This is new. I don't recall this song playing. I mean, I was just like so happy for the scene last time. I don't remember this song at all. Take up the gauge. Down, boy. <laughs> Down. <Never. laughs> He's so hyped up. I remember this part. There's more where that came from. Oh yeah, this sounds like you're saying, where's Krispy Kreme? You're mine. Oh yeah, where we play Genova. Bring it. Game of cards. Just imagine her blob and like the camera pans okay. like when there's Just a challenger. <laughs> He's so funny. Don't hold me down. Not an ideal position. But with a bit of cunning. I'm oh red. Getting warmed up. Oh red. You're mine. Hi Reno. Do, but I can yet turn the tide. I must focus. I got this. No problem. Bring it. Nothing stirs the warrior spirit like a close battle. I thought I was gonna take that middle one. That's the way. <gasps> Hi, Vincent! Oh my god, can we please put Vincent in the front lines? I just really need to put the jockey there. Don't take it, no! I got this. No Vincent problem. in the front lines, what happened? No holding back. Nothing stirs the warrior spirit like a close battle. I love it. Should have put a death claw. That's the way. Oh, that bat! Damn it! I mean, this will help me win, but I also really want to put Vincent. Bring it. Sorry, I have an end game card, Red. <laughs> you might still win. You might. I got this. Because I didn't put down a single death claw. I don't really know what he does. Nothing stirs the warrior spirit like a close battle. Not see the I Vincent card. It. Like he plays his own card. Oh, that's the way. That's the way, Red. Nightmare mode. I don't know. You play nightmare mode. No, no, I'm not winning that row anymore. He got. I got de jockeyed. Okay, wait, hold on. 
since Jackie doesn't have a bonus anymore, I could just put this down at least high that round. Nothing stirs the warrior spirit. Yes! Close I didn't give him a single I point. Love it. <laughs> Sorry, Red. <laughs> Krispy Kreme. Sorry, sorry about the zero. He really thought he'd at least had 20. I may have lost. It was a good match. Was a good match. I almost lost the row. Too. You nearly had me. How the hell did you get so good? By watching others play, a hunter must be observant. I first gleaned the rules and then the strategies. It was just a matter of applying what I'd learned. Huh. So we played off. Ladies and gentlemen, our champion, Cloud Strike. For your magnificent performance tonight, I present to you this sparkling trophy. Congratulations. He loves it. I got a potion. And he hums the victory. That's so and cute. That incredible note. Our Queen's Blood Tournament draws to a close. Thank you again to our amazing contenders for making today so memorable. We hope all our passengers enjoy the tournament and that the remainder of your voyage with us is both peaceful and relaxing. That was a blast. That was great. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't expect to see His you. little walk. I couldn't bear to pass up the chance. Well, lucky for us that you didn't. You were amazing. The championship so, match was pretty what intense, now? But that's we arrive one. in the morning, the right? Yep. What? What's that? Well then, what I'm gonna get me like some much needed shut shadow. Out. You all can do as you please. Nah, we'll come trophy. back. I mean, if you're not too busy. See you later, buddy. No thank you. Oh, thank you, my dad. One too many drinks. <laughs> no. Find a worthy opponent out there, yeah? Two legs, nothing to it. Oliver, do you agree? Is your little two little leg walk? Just in the middle of the hallway again. Observing. Totally normal human doing human things. Yep. He was like, oh my god, hurry up. <laughs> walk faster. <laughs> Kicking in the back of his leg. I know, I'm amazed he can walk that, that long. He's got some balance. He's tall, though, for real. <laughs> He's so tall. Oh no! <laughs> you, can, you can move his bottle around. <laughs> no. Damn it. I keep missing. All right, Genova time. Can I, can I handle it? I have a headache. I don't know if I have it. I don't know if I can handle Genova. Go to bed, Red. I mean, I'll handle Genova. I don't think I won't, but I don't know if I can be good at it. Oh look, my little Vincent. Hello. Attention all passengers, we have an emergency on board. Return to your cabin and remain there for the duration. Military personnel are to report to the deck immediately. Military, huh? I'm an expert Genova handler. That's us. We're basically Genova janitors. Gotta clean it up. Military, that's us. I do really like how eerie this part is. I like it more in the original when you like you hear the heartbeat and that's it. But I like all this stuff too. Thanks, RC Oxus, for eight months. Hey, Prime Subbers in chat? You're not even a Prime Subber. My headset's dying. Genoviter. I love it. That's my new profession. Okay, I need to get everyone's materia in order before we proceed. Well, I guess it's just like Cloud, Barrett, Tifa, and Red. And not everyone. 
Um, they're fine. Aerith can have some heal shit. I don't know what else to give Cloud. Here, I'm gonna use Limit Siphon on him. Okay, I'm sure it's fine. I don't know. There's a lot of materia on everyone. Team has a lot of materia. Is that what stairs do? Oh, oh wait, what are the Marcos weak to? What element? The whole ship is crawling with thieves. They're everywhere. Please, you have to help. Copy. We're on it. Now we have infinite limit. Good. I'll round up the stragglers, but there's a lot of ground to cover. Is that what got our Dabro? Is it infinite? I thought you just get it back to the beginning. Lead the way. Thanks. Follow me. Lightning. Well, there's two of them. I'm not gonna waste Thundara. Two of them. Thundara or nothing. Keep it together. You've got this. Need it oh, they dodge. They're like, hey, while they're launching attacks of their own. Well, then fucking attack me. Attack. Okay, I'm just gonna get their ATB up. Go for it. I got this. Do it. Oh, it's not how they smash. Let's go. Say no more. Ready? You're up. Say no more. Ready? The other one. Do it. Deal with that. Here goes. Stars begin ruling. the most of this. Back. Did you get him? You do your little attack already. Here. Attack? Oh, got him. Red dizzy. Oh, it's using Comet. Good boy. The flying choke women in game. I did that for a bit. We can handle this. Why do you want to see it? It's the worst mini game. Dudes dancing. So long. Look out, sir! Sorry. Sorry, as he's chopping his head off on accident. You okay? Yeah. But those fiends, they got below deck. Same pain you did. I didn't do the hard mo or the I did the bare minimum. I haven't done the um like the full one yet. Because same reason I don't want to go through that pain. Brace yourself. He caught. Just star shower. 
That's my Tifa. That's my Tifa. This game's a ten out of ten. Those things are everywhere. Where's Tito? Don't know. He said something about getting more firepower, then took off. What like firepower is just a regular ass rifle? Yes, Oliver? I don't like what they've done to my Marcos. Stay away from me. <laughs> oh shit. Wait, can I counter stance fast enough? No, oh, I'm too late! <laughs> Damn it. Oh, it worked! I think. Okay, Tifa, can you, um... Deal with that. She's gonna die. Just heal. And then... Synergy... No, not the stun. <laughs> Fuck, I thought he missed. Thanks for the reprieve, but I'm scared. Woo! That was kind of sketchy. Thanks, cutscene cloud. Those guys aren't being targeted at random. Are we fine? That's not dangerous. No, most of them are fine. There's, there's only been like, like three common enemies encounters that were kind of sketchy so far. Ugh, I hate this part. I mean, it's, it's a good part, but ugh, Kojo. He's just watching the cutscenes with us. I contacted public security, but they said this falls under your jurisdiction. <laughs> An intriguing development, this new mutation. <laughs> and one resulting from fusion, no less. This but he's just accidentally making these discoveries. Stronger being. You're not smart, Hojo. You're gonna fail at this too. I envy your opportunity to be present for this epochal event. At the very least, I must harvest a sample of its DNA. So, what should we do? <sighs> Ensure the experiment proceeds uninterrupted, and in return, you will have pride of place in my lab. However, do mark your body to aid in identification. 
<laughs> slimy, slimy little grasshopper-looking man. Barrett. Barrett. Come on. That hearing Barrett just like yelling. Punch him in the face in part three, please. Oh shit! I think there's a bench down there. Benches still give your HP. I'll be right back. Oliver's barking. Okay. Here's here's the plan. We're gonna fight Genova. Uh, I have food heated up, but it's too hot to eat right now. So, uh, I need another guy. So by the time I finish the Genova fight, I'm gonna eat. And then if I if I still have a headache, because I think I, I just haven't really been eating today. <laughs> so if I still have a headache, then I'll stop streaming. But if the food fixes my headache, then we can do all our close to the dull soul. Yes, and the faster I beat her, the faster I can enjoy warm food. Can you come beat this VR vision for me? I can't pro- I probably can't do it either! If you can't. I mean, I'll- I- I'd try if I could. Can you- can you beat the Sephiroth 3D Brawler for me <laughs> in return? You can pause buffer, I don't care. Barret! Sure, alright, let's just send each other our PS5s. All FF and no food. What did I eat today? Oh, I had some- I had a small BB bottle, but it was just like no rice and just the toppings. I- this really should have been the heartbeat. Look, he's trying to run! Poor Marco! Wait, did you kill him? Oh my god. Did you? Ow. God, I hate this fucking... <laughs> Thank you! God, when they go... What'd you do to him? I, I, I made him use a Blizzaga and he just, like, disappeared. <laughs> Better to rush the story? The people behind them, new secondary content? It's better to play however you feel right. There's no better or worse way to play. I think it's more fun to go as you go, because you get to live in that region for a bit instead of like like fucking whiplash like going all the way to Nibelheim and then whiplashing back to grasslands. That doesn't sound very enjoyable to me, but you know, play people play differently. Some side quests are required on hard mode for Platinum because they give you the manuscripts. You want to know how many manuscripts there are? There's 112. By playing normally, like on normal mode, and part, uh, chapter 5 on hard mode, I only have 53. <laughs> There's 112. Yes, that's true. If you do all the side stuff, it's so much Chadley. Alright, Cloud. Yeah, this isn't- oh, this is Magnify. We just do that one. Don't overdo it. I haven't beat all the mini games now. Hi, everybody. I'm attempting platinum, but we'll see. How Some of them are really hard. I don't know. Yes, I recovered some MC. There's a bench on the way. If I could just manage to the bench without using MP. Maybe 
Hit that bird. Don't let them in the engine. Thanks for the mega potion. Oh, it's you! Try to keep up. Pressured. Keep it together. I did that earlier and healed. That would have been great. I'm dying. Okay, there's a sweet. There's a bench for HP. Yes, we're good. Yeah, I don't have red, do I? <laughs> Barret! Come in, get it, assholes! Barret! Oh, hey! They're busting my ass trying to keep these guys alive. They won't fight back. Stand aside, now! Those rogue men have been merging with the fiends, becoming monstrosities bent on killing us all. No more. Not on my ship. Damn it, T-Tov. Take it easy. Don't shoot. I'm not one of them, I swear. Don't shoot, I'm human. Holy shit. I had to. For the sake of my passengers and crew. It's a pretty good shot, though. Do you know the music? Keep it away from me! Poor Yuffie. Sephiroth? They say she's a monster. That she can peer inside you. Into the very depths of your soul. That she can become those you hate. Those you fear, those you love, and they call her Genova. What a nice little speech! Hi, Sephiroth. I'm gonna die. Oh, does nobody have bio? I forget to put bio on everyone. It's on you.
this is definitely like a near version. I love I love this version so much though. What is it? Flicking damage with pressure it. Oh, oh, you want damage, do you? I have just the thing. Oh no, bear it. Don't overdo it. Oh, does anyone have stop? I think keep on. Hold it! Song. Okay, Barrett and Cloud. I don't think I'm gonna get their limit up. I got the stagger trophy already. Oh, it doesn't get stopped twice. Look at the side to drop in. Look at his chonky legs. been muted. That's okay, that's okay, because Tifa and him, so he'll be able to heal. Oh no, Cloud! I just need you to heal. Okay, Cloud. He's still silent. Nobody has. Um. Okay, it's fine. So signs for a little bit. Pressured. God, cool. Need to heal up. Take it from here. All set. Bring it. Yeah. There. Oh. Yeah. Okay, if Barrett and Tifa can keep him busy. Tifa's dead. Barrett can heal her. Oh, he's got re-raise, not regular raise. Shit. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Cause yeah, so everyone's health is okay. And I really want to try to stagger before I limit it. Him. Cloud, are you using your limit or not? What happened to Cloud? God damn, what happened to Cloud? <laughs> Is he using it? 
The Preve activated. Oh my god, Cloud. Who the fuck are you? I don't know where he is. Oh, there you are. You're on the ground. Run, stagger him. Eric can do it. Oh, does she lose? Well, oh, you had bio this whole time. Cloud's a little busy here. Alright, Tifa, Barret. Uh, they have to stagger and whatever. Well, I'm glad Cloud is infinite and uh, whatever. Oh, shot him into the cutscene. This is a little sketchy. I'm trying to. I'm trying. I'm try, what I'm trying to do is use the thing that I get free MP and heal everyone, but then I keep having to like cover the party. Anyway, cool cutscene. Don't panic. I'm not panicking. Don't worry. Oh, it got pressured. Wait a minute. Okay, Tifa needs to do two things. Who has limit siphon? Cloud. I really wish I could use that. Put it on cloud. Oh shit, the left shoulder! Bear it! I knew I should use it on cloud. Yeah, it's got his dumbass tentacles now. Bear it! No! I was trying to get his limit break! Damn it! Bear it, no! I should've used re-raise. Thanks for being at 1 HP already, Cloud. Thank you. Probably my fault. Sorry. <laughs> I'm trying a triangle. 
Alright, hold on. That didn't happen. Better late than never, Jack. Got the song. <laughs> See, even if we lose, we win because the song is so good. I can't use another re-raise, but that's okay. You stop. Okay, um, I really should have used the so I can heal everyone. Say your prayer. Keep it up. Normal mode is dynamic mode. Like sometimes like you could be playing like your first try is always so much easier. Fucking do it. Wait, oh my god, my three bars left just like that, and I definitely don't have free MP anymore. God damn it! I think dynamic mode is a scam. It's all dynamic. <laughs> Thank you. 
I love that. Far. Okay, well now cloud. You hear this music probably last time. The game's so chaotic. It really is chaotic. <laughs> Uh, you have three MP, you have to heal right now. Well, we'll use regen first, because we have to up it on everyone. Barret should put re-raise on people. Tifa can be Tifa. Let's turn Brittle to strength out right now. I've never used that, is that good? Gorgon shield. Anyway, I ate my corn dogs already. <laughs> this is supposed to be my reward for beating her. Fire's pet. I don't think she gets petrified. She's immune to it. Okay, well, you can also do this. So I'm gonna just cast haste on her. I bear it. I love this storm. I love that she's not just like in the ceiling. She's actually a movable enemy. Cause this is like the first time she's really movable. All the other times she's just like static in some way. Like in the first game. Or the remake. Deal with that. Oh the lasers! Oh my god, healed in the nick of time. Thank you, Cloud. Pressured, huh? Barret. Missed. No. Give him hell. I got this. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, Tifa almost has meteor strikes ready. Hold on, Barret, you should probably who has uh re rays uh my die. I really need that limit break. Fuck you! I was so like panic shot. I could probably like block it, but I don't know. I feel like I was close to dying anyway. All right, well this is like a big AOE. Eva, are you using it? Get ready. 
I just I had to use it now. I know it's a bad idea, but Have enough time to do no. Keep it up. Let's do this. Damn it, I have enough time to stop it. This tentacle part kind of sucks. The tentacles. Is that always just gonna find you? <laughs> always been silenced. Ascension, Barrett should still be doing hole in one. Woo! Team of the Uppercut got her ass. <laughs> that, <laughs> that last phase gets so scary with those lasers. Thank you, Silivan. What now, Sephiroth? You want to go round two? I'll do it. Don't bring Tifa into this. He's salty because Tifa uppercut a Genova. <sighs> like, well. it's so, it's so like, it's, hold on real quick. It's so, it's so sketchy. <laughs> will I will. It's so sketchy when like in my head, I'm like, I have a plan. I'm like, I'm going to get, I'm going to get their synergy blocks to three each so I can do the, fr the free MP synergy and then I'm going to go ham and then it doesn't go that way. And then you're like spending half the round being like, oh, God damn it. I have to pick Tifa up because she died. Every time. I'm no fool. You're no fool, Cloud, except for all the times you are. Good evening, everyone. We have Sephiroth is just getting desperate. I'm happy to that trying to bring Tifa into this. He's wrong. like, I can't get through to Cloud well, myself. I need Tifa now. He knows she's a threat. He knows the Aerith and Tifa are both threats. He's losing the ship war. <laughs> that synergy move and Tifa dies. I know, right? Complete chapter five. Let's go. Yeah, same. Every time, Kairos. I'm like, okay, my plan is setting this up and I just got lasered to death. So there goes my plan. But anyway, we're in Costa del Sol now. I this this game's kind of like weird with tone pacing kind of vibes because just like we just fought Genova, it was dark and broody and really cool. We had that bomb ass boss music, and then it's just like beaches. <laughs> like forget about all that. It's time to vacation, fellas. Now it's beach time. 
forgot City of Snowboarding. Yeah, but it's not like directly. It's not like the direct next cutscene. Like you have to at least walk to the inn and they have a conversation and then it's snowboarding. <laughs> this is straight up just like the next cutscene's like beach time. Catch you later. Like there's almost no like downtime. It's a lot of place. It's just funny. Forget Genova, it's segue time. Hey, look who it is! General Middle Manager! This is the first time you see him in this game. We just arrived and I already hate it. Same, Barrett. Come on, let's get out of here. Should probably wait for them. I get the feeling he's telling the truth about Tifa. I know, right? Cloud, he's, he's a little delusional. Right. So a little sightseeing couldn't hurt, could it? I mean, come on, we're in Costa del Sol, people. Costa del Sol. Je, Nova, fight. Perhaps we could find some shade first. Oh. I'm about to melt. Could save you. <laughs> Save him. <laughs> Hang loose. Hang loose. Welcome. Thank you. Hang Greetings loose. and welcome to Costa del Sol. I'm Capono, the mayor here. Go on. Here you are. Perfect. Even Red gets them. Um... To get welcome. you in the mood. Welcome. Thanks. After all, there's nothing like a good welcome. lay to kickstart your getaway. <laughs> that color really brings out your eyes. A shimmering seaside paradise awaits you, with only the bluest skies and earthly delights on all sides. <laughs> so forget your dead end nine to fives, cause here the fun lasts all the way to sunrise. Welcome to Wonderland. To know a bikini. <laughs> One for you. You see that? Yeah, but let's find a hotel and shower first. Then we can go. You better not be suggesting we all hit the beach. Hey, hey, I saw that. And no, this is how the original is too, but it's the, but the tone was different. Cause like we don't have this music, everyone's not like cheering about the beach. Like like in the OG, it wasn't really about the beach; they just happened to be there. They're like, it's vacation time. Like the tone is definitely different. So soon after everything. I don't know. Yeah, and how they expand the world. It's so good. Everything's so good. Everything's fine. Do I feel like I'm never up here? This is the only part of Costa del Sol. <laughs> Am I Toshi if I play Yakuza? Yeah, I just, I just get salty because I really like, like I'm, I don't have a problem with it. Like people, people seem to think just because I. I acknowledge something that I have a problem with it. So all you YouTube commenters in the future, you can relax. I'm simply commenting on the tonal change. I don't particularly have a problem with it, but I do get salty sometimes because I, I personally really like when things are like g grim. Yeah, how dare I notice things in games? Yeah, people, people take everything so personally. It's like they made the game. <laughs> Just like, you know, it's a quick tonal change. It's like, yeah, well, you're a tonal change. It's like, anyway, like I was saying, <laughs> um, I just, I really, really like when things get like, just dark and broody and miserable for a bit. And like how it is with Genova, like, cause that fight is so cool and it's so intense. And then the whole scene with Cloud about, you know, he's starting to lose it and stuff. And I really like trying to focus that on that a little bit but they take you out of it too quickly. It's like, they just want to make you move on from the scene. But it's like, I, I like living in that for a moment. You know, like, like just just let me, let me breathe in between scenes, in between tonal change. That's all. Like, it's I, like, the problem isn't going from Genova to Costa del Sol. It just happens really quickly. <laughs> People take his attack on a childhood. This game came out in 2024 and they're like, oh, well. 
But I feel that way about a lot of stuff in this game. They, they do need to allow more breathing room for scenes, especially like the Seto story with, um, with, uh, Red. And then it goes immediately to the Gi backstory and then immediately to a Zack flashback. It's just like, it's so quick. The Dine stuff was... See, the thing with Dine, I agree because it does go straight to Palmer, but it's not like one cutscene to an X. Because after the Dine part, you can sit there and chill. Like you're like it's like this. Like you don't have to continue the next cutscene right away. You can you can chill. It's not like the dying part goes straight into a cutscene, you know? And it feels like the game's afraid of losing your attention. Yeah, I think that's like a modern thing, you know? There's a lot of there's a lot of fiction these days where when things are presented to you, they just want like they're they're they are worried about like low intention spans, I guess. Where they just want to keep going. Biggest gray, everything else that was still handled well. Yeah, it's just so fast. It's like you don't really. I feel like it's just they don't let you respect. They don't show the respect for Red and the Seto backstory because that's one of like that's a lot of people's favorite part, and it's just like okay, we got that out of the way anyway. So the Gee stuff, that's new. You like our new storyline, and we're like, yeah, but I still want to focus on what I like already. Ready on my YouTube comments right now. Go for it. Yeah, the last chapter of the game is also a lot of like, go, go, go. Like, just let me breathe. It doesn't always have to go cutscene at cutscene. Sometimes we could have little moments, like, in between, between words. Because there's also, there's also a lot of, like, you could tell they put in a lot of work in like these cutscenes and stuff. And there's so many little details that happen in cutscenes that are really important. But they keep pummeling you with cutscene after cutscene after cutscene sometimes that it's hard to focus on the first cutscene because you've like forgotten half of it because you're focusing on the second cutscene you now. Okay, and now that there's a third cutscene, you're like, well, I forgot about first and second cutscene you now. <laughs> they knew they had to cover so much they were worried the game would end up being too long, maybe. Maybe they, they thought it was like a way to fix pacing, but it's just not the way I prefer pacing. I like breathing room between things. Oh yeah, Vacation Costa and then their Vacation Music Park. Yeah, they- Cause like in the OG, these parts all, are always just like, oh they just- They got off the ship from Junon and it just happened to land in Costa del Sol. Like, and then they went on to the next location. But- So they didn't stay here. Like this wasn't a vacation for them, it's just they just happened to be here. But this they're definitely like, oh we're here so now let's make it a vacation. Costa del- or Gold Saucer, they were definitely, like, more, like, in the OG, they were more willing to relax a bit. Breathing room? I mean, kind of how I explained it, where it just, like, give it a minute. You don't have to go directly to the next cutscene. You were there's too much time between story beats? Well, that's not really what I mean, either. I don't know. I- it's- if you get what I'm saying, then you get it. If you don't get it, then I don't really know how else to explain it, because I'm bad at explaining stuff. How to fill that time. But that's the thing, we don't have to fill the time. We can just let characters... Like, ha like the cutscene can just, like, slowly fizzle out. It doesn't have to, like, end and then instantly next cutscene. It's- it's like- it's like they didn't- they just like cut out an extra 10 seconds of, or something. And then straight to just like, tonal shift. Like it's definitely a difference between like 90s media and modern media where like everything's just really fast these days. I'm terribly sorry, but we're all booked up for the evening. Oh yeah? You do too much optional content you feel it drags best in the game spot, right? Hey, Yuffie. How the Geethink keeps the Sovereign mood. Yeah, but I still like focusing on Red. I don't like feeling like storyline whiplash. Yeah, because like the Geese stuff isn't. Yeah, obviously. Wait, you are? Yo, I didn't pick the best one for that. I expect you to have an eye for beauty. But don't forget that I'm more than just a pretty face. Are you sure you don't want me on your team? 
I mean, I I would love her on my team. Oh yeah, where's Johnny? I have to slip through his door. The geese stuff was mentioned in the OG, but the way it happened was not like with the whole flashback or like the the walking part. We hope you enjoy your time. We're only accepting customers with prior Those Rufus Gamers Nova headaches now. We hope to see you again to soon. Yeah, I don't know. Cause he he saw he saw the um the whispers at the end of part one, and we don't really know why, so I can only assume that he's always had some Genova in him or something in this version. Tifa! Cloud, Tifa! Tifa! No way. Yeah, I know, Bugenhagen's mean Sorry. in this game. <sighs> hey guys! Looking good! <laughs> Same to you. So... Yeah, I would have traded some dungeon time Living with just letting us settle in the Seto cutscene for a little bit. Being the owner of a bona fide hotel, oh. though not exactly a luxury one. What a coincidence! We were just looking for a place to stay. Well, Bugenhagen's a horror rooms, movie husband, Nivas. Tifa saw days. it. Enough rooms to make your head spin. Tifa's like, I, I, I went That's to the live stream. I saw a weapon, and Bugenhagen's like, Are you sure you're not just tired? need to be shy we go way back right it's the least i can do <laughs> all right let's get you settled in can i know this all now you're having geostigmon ac of course come on well i mean that would have to be from him having it i guess or like the other way around but yeah it's probably related make sure you stick close can't have my guest getting lost I mean, I don't know, but like I said, my, my theory is pretty much just like he has to have some sort of Genova bullshit done to him. But... How or why? Don't know. Just haven't shown it yet. But it's probably... Probably Hojo. What if it's Darkstar? What if Darkstar's radiating Genova cells and he got Rufus infected? So he sold me a hotel for cheap. How cheap, you ask? I love the game as a whole. Ten out of ten. Even loaned me the money for it. There's no kinder man. God, he won't shut up. I want to talk to you guys, but Johnny's rambling on 18 pages front and back. Yeah, Forgotten Capital has my favorite aesthetic too. It'd be nice if we could explore it. <laughs> The conversation happening like the start of a chapter can be awkward. Finding a stopping point. Yeah. The more for Red than I ever did. And then especially when you get back from the D village, find the picture of him as mom and dad. Wait, did I find that? Whispers being seen was more due to the character seem of a direct impact of the story. Yeah, well, it's like they definitely made note that Rufus saw it, and it's just like, well, how how is he seeing these whispers? So he must have touched someone who had it, or just he's always had Genova cells in him. I hope we go back in part three. I know it like blew up or whatever, but I don't know. Bugenhagen's got magic. Giant trying to make the stream about him. I know. Which <laughs> mom she looks like him as mom. I don't think I saw that. Oh. Well, Rufus is always kind of a direct impact of story. Like, he was chasing... He was still chasing Sephiroth, even in the OG. Oh, it's in the treasure room? Oh... I'll have to look harder next time. Yeah. Because I think I was... Yeah. I definitely went to the treasure room. And then there was, like, weapons or whatever. I'm like, I'm taking all your shit. And I couldn't find anything else. Yeah, well... We'll find it this place, don't worry. I don't think Glenn... If Glenn's actually dead, because like the, the Sephiroth... The Glenn that Sephiroth puppeteered... Like, he's just a Sephiroth thing to distract Rufus, but... But then Rufus said he killed the actual Glenn, so I don't think the actual Glenn's gonna be around. Unless he's actually not dead. <laughs> Yeah, Glenn was controlled by Sephiroth the whole time. 
play the rest of Ever Crisis to find out whenever that comes out. Sarufoth, yeah, and that fake guy. Us. Uh, to do hard mode, if you want to get the manuscripts on hard mode, you have to redo some of the side quests. But um, everything would carry over normally, so you don't have to redo them. Wutai is going to be as big as Midgar, I just feel it. <laughs> Behold my pride and joy, Johnny's Seaside Inn. <sighs> I think Sephiroth just didn't want Rufus involved. I he was Sephiroth was just wow. using the Shinra Wutai it's, War uh, drama as a distraction to like get him Great. off Sephiroth's back. I know, right? Because he knows that Maybe my everyone's after me, him. But I don't see no seaside. It's not about the sights, but the smells. Ah, how that fresh salt air tickles the nose. <laughs> well, come on in. Tifa's nice. Rufus on Sephiroth's back part threw me off a little bit. It's like, wait, when do they care? They claim that he was he wanted to go after him because he's he's like he's a plight on humanity or whatever the fuck he said. So he wanted because like that was the whole deal if with um these people, like Avalanche, <laughs> our our characters, these people, and Rufus and Junon, when he's just like, I'll I'll not chase after you, Ancient, I'll Forgive Avalanche, and I won't go after the lab rat specimen if you guys can take care of Sephiroth. That was the deal before Yuffie got in the way, so now Rufus is like, fuck you guys, and then... Um, so now he's gonna go after Sephiroth himself. But that happens in OG as well. Like, they're there when the weapons get emerged. Hojo's there too. Yeah, it's probably better not tr trust Rufus. I agree. However, I would have really liked to see how that would have played out. Just out of curiosity. These people. What would happen with him at the end of Remake and why he cares about Sephiroth? He just getting in his way. Cause Vin Vincent. Rufus is like, I have a I have a new plan for Shinra. And then you know Sephiroth's up his up his ass. But But Rufus, if he does know the whispers and um, is trying to go after Sephiroth and he possibly has Genova cells in him because he's getting the headaches. Like, he could know more than we do. Rufus might end up being like, another heir. <laughs> Ew, what if Rufus is a, an ancient? Like, part ancient. And then they Genova'd him. Oh no, poor Rufus. He's gonna end up being a lab rat too. I'm sure Hojo told him some stuff. I think Hojo would like sit there and brag about Sephiroth. Hojo is like the type of guy when like you you achieve something 30 years ago and you won't let it go. Like you still have a picture of like the day Sephiroth was created. We also killed the president, stole their alien parts. He did steal their alien parts. Yeah, Sephiroth, I don't think Rufus cares that he killed his dad. Because I think Rufus, like, even in this canon, he wanted him out of the picture anyway. But yeah, taking the alien parts, Rufus is probably like, man. Confused, you watched a few videos trying to explain the ending's timelines? Well, when we get to the ending again, we watch it again, I could definitely try to explain my interpretation. I don't know, like, I'm in the weird boat where, to me, to me, like, my interpretation of the ending is, like, clear. Like, I'm not confused by anything. Like, but anything I'm confused about, it's just like, well, this is clearly... Because the story is not finished. So I'll, anything that I'm confused about, I'll just, like, be like, okay, well, this is obviously a thread that's unfinished and they'll do in part three. Like, the whole Rufus stuff with his headaches. Like, that that's clearly unfinished. Um, But to me, like, with the whole, like, era thing at the end, like, to me, that's, like... My interpretation is clear. Like, for me, as far as I'm concerned, I know the ending. <laughs> but obviously, I'm probably wrong about a few things. Because, uh, you know, it's early. We don't really... Part 3 isn't really out yet. Like, the game's not actually finished. Or the story isn't, I mean. Um, but yeah, when we get to the end, if you are okay, do happen to be around, I can discuss it. In. Tifa, you'll be staying in room 101. 
my my Zach interpretation for the is dudes, I feel you can all bunk together I feel like he's in main timeline. This is more of a theory. I'm not certain about this think of charging you. because every time they're in a Zach timeline or a Zach flashback in this game, they always make it a point to show you the dog, like to show you the stamp mascot, and it's usually a different one, so you know it's in different timelines, right? But the last Zach scene, they deliberately do not show you a dog whatsoever, which makes me think he's in main timeline. Again, that's a theory. But it's like, it's the only scene that they don't show a dog. Like, the only time, so. I'm really trying to figure things out so I have all the info, so just chilling. Yeah, I feel ya, but. I don't know. I like, I like knowing what's going on in this. The Oliver one, yeah. Besides, Oliver stamps the best uh, one. I gotta run. The mayor requires my assistance at this time. Make yourselves at home. Not like there's anyone else here anyway. Oh, you guys better not head to the beach looking like that. And don't even think of bringing those weapons with you. Do oh, I have to get the cards he again? Is so cruel, depriving me of Tifa and beachwear. Time for that shower? Was I need to show a stamp because yeah, the dialogue for uniting so. a world again? See you guys soon. How yeah, but the fact that they didn't show it and they said that makes me no think to stick to a the worlds here. have been reunited. Right? Like they did what they right? did. Because the whole point was that threads were constantly being split from the main timeline, oh, so Sephiroth could take the life stream from the other timelines, get his power. But the whole point of destroying those threads is to go back to one timeline. <laughs> yeah, and and S Sephiroth basically even says it too. In a bit. Here's the time where Aerith lives. The timeline where Aerith lives is the one that Cloud made last second when he uh, stopped Sephiroth's sword. Because it even shows you like that flash of white and like what Cloud sees is different from what everyone else sees. So Cloud's in between worlds sort of by the end of it, which is why he doesn't think anything's wrong. Cause like worlds, you know, you words worlds merged when he was still like in the edge of creation, whatever the fuck they refer to that. <sighs> no, it's not an illusion. He definitely, he definitely believes Aerith's alive, and she's a ghost because she's like in the live stream. Cause like Red even acknowledges that she's around. He just can't see her. Big said that the live stream is drained dry in their timeline, as Bugen Hagen said, means the plan that time is dead. Yeah, I think I think every other timeline that we've seen is dead. I, mean, I feel like the only reason that is Fate Whisker plotline to give errors back back. <laughs> Zach's a better resolution. I think the whole point of Zach's like multi-universe inclusion is specifically so they could bring him to main timeline. Because he's such a popular character. Yeah, I think the ending, they want you to see it from, like, the way Cloud sees it. But, like, they, they mostly they mostly want you to see it the way Cloud sees it, but there's enough clues to see, like, how everyone else feels. I miss it's the alternate reality is live stream purgatory stuff. I, it's, it's just, yeah, so it's just Sephiroth wanting, it, like, taking over one planet's live stream isn't enough. He wants to take over, like, all of the freaking <laughs> the multiverse. I think they also want to give Zack a better setup than just hand wave at OG, maybe. Apparently, the killing most needs to create another timeline, which is why I was doing back for up swing. Yeah, no, uh, absolutely, 100%. Yeah, no, that's what I think, because when he stops Sephiroth's sword, he- Cloud- Cloud is seeing- See, this is the conversation that I wanted to have when I were beating the game again, but now we're, like, just talking about it. But, like, yeah, he stops Sephiroth's sword, Saving Aerith, but that's that just created a new timeline where he saved Aerith. Because Tifa and everyone else still sees and lives in the timeline where Aerith died, which makes me think Tifa may have had to do the burial or something instead of Cloud, because Cloud is partially living in the world where he saved her. You lumber? Defying fate creates additional timelines, right? Yeah, because fate was Sephiroth 
Because it's like, you can def defy fate, but it's not changing anything. Defying fate, like you're not changing Sephiroth killing Aerith. Defying fate, which is what Cloud did, just made a new timeline. So, yeah. I think Cloud did burial like OG, but doesn't matter. I think possibly on our timeline, he did, but... But because like Cloud, Cloud wouldn't... The Cloud that we know at the end of... Like, we may have not seen the other timeline Cloud burying her, but the Cloud that we saw 100% did not bury her because he's smiling as if she's not dead. He does not think she's dead at all. He, he, he's not even like in, like delusional. He just generally believes he saved her. Anyway, I'm done talking about this right now until we get to the ending. You can, you can proceed, but I'd rather focus on hard mode right now. And then when we get back to the ending on hard mode, we can talk more about uh, it. This looks like it'll collapse Tifa! If I sit on it. Much less sleep. <laughs> he wouldn't even remember doing it. <laughs> What's a stand-up guy like you oh, it's standing shady in the guy. like this for? I can show you somewhere way better. Shut Place up. Is a Whole building's bare. Takes a special kind of sucker to wind up in a mess like that, you know. I think the black materia is just like another thread that they're uh doing in part three. I don't think we're meant to know anything about the black materia yet, how he has it. Other than it just I don't know, Sephiroth could have planted it there. This orb has such a gorgeous hey, Luz. This Don't really tell me you're alone. alone. The beach is for partying. And one's not a party. It's a pity. But you don't have to be lonely any longer. Oh, nice, Casimir. Together, solo it's like surprising you. It's how it helps. Special event. One we guarantee will spice up your social life. I think Sephiroth needs Cloud to take it to him. Love. Yeah, like, I, I that's what I mean. Like, I, def I definitely think it's a Sephiroth plant. Because, here, real quick, last thing I'll say about this, like, Sephiroth is really smart. Like, he knows everything, but not actually everything. Because he even said he underestimated Aerith. So Aerith and Sephiroth are constantly trying to be one step in front of the other. But they're both clearly trying to use Cloud in different ways. Obviously, like, Aerith is trying to help Cloud. And Sephiroth is using Cloud to, like, help him. Um... But that's kind of, to me, that stuff is like threads for part three. That's not really meant to be concluded yet. Will you be joining us? Is how what? I see it. I'll pass. Aww. Just a queen's blood match between yeah, Aerith and Sephiroth. Guys. Later. Uh, uh, so they're friends of yours? Then can you do us a solid? Those robed people are a little different, right? And they've kind of been creeping the other guests out. I mean, look at their clothes. They kill the vibe. So, if you could get them out of here, we'd be so grateful. Speaking of clothes, they'll never let you on the beach looking like that. This is Costa del Sol. You gotta loosen up. Let it all out. And to help you with that, here's lucky ticket number seven. Take it. With that, you can play Pirate's Rampage and Card Carnival. But not all by your lonesome. Your number's the same as someone else's. Ooh. Find them, and you've got yourself a team. Work together. Okay. Can we get down from here? We're stuck with every little thing you need for your travel. Is this why we can just change clothes? Oh, thank God. I was actually going to ask. Yes! <laughs> Being single coming across with those all. You can't do anything by yourself. Oh wait, I should pick... I have to pick the Aerith one Looks like when it's time. Yes, of course I'm more than ready to enjoy the beach. But there's no way in hell I'm making Cloud wear that other hideous outfit. <laughs> I want that one. Maybe later. <sighs> What's with them? 
See? About killing the vibe. They're so mean to them. But everybody on the Shinra ship was hey, what's up? like allowing them in. They're getting some sun too, huh? Yeah. Just can't help but feel sorry oh, for them, you know? Poor bastards ain't Those done nothing to no you go to the beach, robes? But we treat them like monsters. You go to the, the beach? You're freaking everyone out. For real. Take a hike. Hey, you leave them alone. I did see that cast affair. Yeah, protect him, Barrett. <laughs> Toddler. Oh, see, this part's really important with Aerith. And Bull Brad, I guess, even. Look at him! He's so cute. How dogs sleep. Thanks for keeping watch. I'll only be a sec. Take your time. Uh, well, the water won't turn off. <laughs> Johnny sure found himself a real fixer upper. Kinda reminds me of home. Aww. Are you almost done? Aerith? Aerith, are you alright? Tell me, what color would you say this is? used to be white. At least, it was back in Midgar. Materia is formed from the life stream itself. Orbs infused with knowledge, memories. The whispers. They took all that from mine? These memories were precious? Yes. Extremely. Weren't you headed to the beach? Some time with Tifa might lift your spirits. Yeah. This sweetie. Nice to John. Has been great. Welcome to the fandom. Two white materials. We need to summon Genesis. No, stop. Yeah, so when when that scene played out. Yeah, so I guess it's like all the, the knowledge of the future came with it, because Se Sephiroth. Sephiroth got scared. She knows too much. But I definitely called it that they're gonna need the white materia from another timeline. I just didn't know how it was going to work out. But it's okay. Aerith Prime from another timeline in the future. She she handled it. See, if, if, if Loveless, or Loveless, if Genesis had anything to do with the clear materia, I'd find any way to destroy it. Holy be damned. Get Offering Genesis out of here. Would be Ill -advised. I insist you take Tifa. Thanks, Red. You're my best friend. Tifa! Hey, Tifa, you ready to soak up the sun? Cause I sure am. Uh, yeah, in a sec. Ready. That was so fast. Now, let's find us some resort wear. And then we can finally hit the beach. Yeah. Let's roll. Let's roll. Purple that dirge? Yeah. They're not gonna waste their time making dirge. They can just incorporate that stuff in it. Yeah. There's no need for Genesis, but it's too late for Vice and Nero because they're already in it. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna put Aerith in the one that matches Cloud now for the play log, and then we give Tifa the better one. Hey, how about an orb or two? Hey, shut your mouth! Hang loose. No, stop! Yeah, Don't talk to me! To no, to Aerith! No, I can't control her. If you're in the market <laughs> for some beach attire. Stop talking to me, lady! God, these freaking- They're all just trying to sell you shit. It's such a touristy place. Of 
purgatory. <gasps> oh, look at him sitting in the booth. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't. I can't press it. I can't use it because I didn't unlock it from gold saucer because I thought I did. Okay, the other one for Aerith is way cuter with the, the long skirt. So much cuter, but I'm gonna pick this because it matches the cloud one technically. It's it's cute, I just I don't know, it looks it looks too like young girl to me. Like ten year old beach wear, I don't know. Yo, you know what? Tifa definitely where's the scar, Tifa? Hold on. Where's the scar? There's no scar. Where is it, huh? It's the freaking the thin white band covering it. I really wish you could see it in the bathing suit. I don't- there's no scar. It's a shadow. There's no scar. She got sliced- like, come on! She got sliced by a freaking long-ass sword. If there's a scar, you would see it. Like, it's probably cover- <laughs> yeah, this is not the real Tifa. I think Sephiroth's right. <laughs> Like, if you could actually see it... Like, if it wasn't hidden by clothes, like, you would 100% see it. Tifa. But, like, that's not how boobs work! It doesn't, like, take over your chest, it just, like, protrudes out. <laughs> Cause, like, we saw where she got cut. We saw where she, like, she's hiding it with, like, her new outfit. I'm saying Tifa's not real. I'm on Sephiroth's side. How do you better watch out? This sucky bitch nice is here. <laughs> I can tell you're just dying to hit the beach right about now. Head to beach in these clothes? Okay, wait, hold on. Whoa, I thought she was holding a tree. Okay, I can't. Isn't there a button to switch to character? There it is. Hey, you wanna lead the way? Sure, why not? There's nothing there. It's like... It's like strategically right under where the tie is. <laughs> Whoa, Tifa! Nice touch. I can tell you're just dying to hit the beach right about now. <laughs> Shinra Middle not... Manager fanfiction. Do you even have to? Oh, yeah, I missed saying hi to him. Well, Red, how do we look? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Tifa looks as majestic as a breaching whale. She's a whale. Diaphanous as a jellyfish. No me dang, but you're six months. Is that your way of complimenting us? Human beauty is hard for me to assess. He did his best. Tifa, you whale. Her eyes are up there. Uh, no, nothing. It's just hot. Uh, in the sun. <laughs> Speaking of which, you guys should probably put on sunscreen. That's some sage advice, Mr. Pasty. Oh. <sighs> He's protecting the women. Oh, good red. <laughs> what a wonderful surprise it is to see you again. Uh, rest assured, I'm not here for Aerith. Though, were she to offer her assistance, I'd gladly accept. Don't hold your breath. Oh, I won't. At any rate, a very special show is about to start. One starring you, 
Perhaps. Good guard dog. It's your other beach outfit, dress shirt, and lab coat. Freaking so dress shoes. Care to join me in the lab? Uh, I said you look shitty. Good night, Tifa. For life. Wow, You're pretty. Just hot that. in the sun. I'm in need of a few female assistants. <laughs> Think about it. You could help give birth to the world's next hero. I wish I could. That oh, remember this so part where cool. Aerith stops us killing Hojo? Before a hero it. strikes down his foe, he must strike him with awe at his beauty. They're all but there he is for not it. A hero by virtue of innate greatness. I, I wonder how much Only they're getting paid. Others, does he earn the title? Do you follow? It's admittedly a lofty concept. Too lofty for me, but it sounds amazing. See, Aerith, yeah. There you are, Professor. Aerith in the future so being like, you need him. It. The I plot. Trust my girls are making you feel welcome. There's nothing sexier than a man in a white coat. Say, Professor, how about I polish those glasses for you? Care to savor some of the local delicacies, Professor? Here, open Ew. wide. He's so slimy. <laughs> Even Johnny's in on it. Can't kill him yet. Vincent's gonna join the party one day and he really should be in on it. Aerith, if you said that... If- if- <laughs> imagine she alluded to it. Oh my god, that'd be amazing. That's my new headcanon. Thank you for giving that to me. Future Aerith knows about future Vincent. We can't kill him yet. <laughs> There's somebody more deserving to take so his you life. you the call too, did you? What are you talking about? <laughs> Not consciously, then. As you can see, your brothers down there are having a little get-together. So, line him up. Yes, sir. <laughs> so this this is after the Spice Girls stop their singing career, they just work for Hojo now. What the hell are you playing at? Well, the mighty have fallen. That, my friends, is for me to know and for you to find out. Wait, I don't know if I'm ready for this boss. I didn't look at weaknesses. Oh my god, I was so wrapped up in the story, I forgot. Oh no. Do do do. Do do do. I can set this one before. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I can run to them. I'm just so used to this game being cutscene driven. <laughs> Could produce such results. At long last, I have specimens worthy of my attention. Sick bastard! I'll kill you! Barret! Got Madu's walking up on the beach. Someone has to stop that. Look at us. <laughs> <laughs> Stop touching him, Spice Girls! You're so much better than that! How do you fool? I love that he picks up the umbrella! <laughs> Weapon parameters transferred. Oh, I, have to, I should help Aerith this time. Because... Because I didn't help them last time. And I need her points. And Barrett's. Get your equipment! Oh my god! Oh my god, they warned me! Damn, look how cool they look! We may call me back to the secret of the original game. Oh my god, so many layers in that. You know, going so far to the end of the like list, I feel like there's there's way less bosses than I remember. What is this one called though? 
Not that. Oh god, that's all the way in the cosplay row. What is this next boss called? Did I not scan it? How can I fight that? By noodles, raster pod. That sounds right. There it is. Grass tro trod. Oh, I need to assess it. Okay. Well, it's probably weak to lightning. I don't know. It's a grass tro pod. All right, I need to assess. Oops. Why is it grass? It's hard mode. It's harder, and you cannot use items, and your MP is super limited. Okay, I want to see how slight they be. Hey, Badouche! Look at that slightly fills your limit gauge. Where is he? Badouche! Turn for high mode. Oh my god, the trials. I don't know if I can go through them again. My friends! Hmm, a promising specimen. <laughs> Splendid. Might you be interested in bringing the Zara stuff us in so much to learn? My friends! All right, first things first. We've got a set. It was Barret. Okay, what are you indeed weak to? The lightning? Yes, called that it. Clicking off damage or landing synergy will pressure it. We're ending it temporarily and off route. Uh -huh. So, anyway, Cloud? I don't overdo it. Coming. Get him. One more shot. You've got this. My turn. Aerith, no. Pressured you liar. Call it like that. See what you can do. Your Barret. Oh my god, I can't hurt it anymore. Why 
Why? Why are you? I don't understand. Oh my god. He's a liar. It, the boss is a liar. Subject retrieval. Wait. Did this happen last time? I don't remember the cutscene that Yuffie saved us. Okay, I don't remember the cutscene taking so long. I'm like, just fucking do your thing. You're freaking me out. Thanks, Yuffie. I had to wait for his machine to get in the right place. You did good, you did. But I got an idea. Do me a favor. Keep it busy. Don't come after me. There is nothing to fear. Come with me, and you can play a part in furthering the development of mankind. No holding back. All right. No, Punisher! God damn it. What is this? No, I don't trust this. This si silencing. It will not be silence. How does it feel to be helpless and Okay, do you think I can you think he'll make it? Oh god damn it, he took my ATB, but I got into a cutscene. At least give me my ATB back. That's so not fair. Hey you! Mr. Moby. Two whole ass bars. Huh? Over here. Who? Oh, me? <laughs> you wanna help him, don't ya? Then you'd better hold huh? still! <laughs> you enjoying the show, Hojo? You enjoy they took two of my bars? Part's kind of hard. Not the silencing solvent. Oh, Joe! Here we go. Well, that doesn't hurt or help. Oh, pressured. Right. I get cylinders. Ah, oh, it's an AOE, right? Did you break it, cylinders? So much damage! Okay, what about its cylinders? Oh fuck, they're still there. Enough of you. Come on, Ojo! Stop interrupting my moves! I'm trying to punish. Punisher. Won't let me go on a Punisher. Can I thunder uh cylinders on? Sweet. Breakneck spin. I'm a little worried. Oh fuck, that wasn't enough. Please leave me alone. <laughs> Please leave me alone. <laughs> Yay! Easy! Except for the part when it was slowly coming after me. That was scary. Johnny? No! Don't! Yeah, imagine you're asked me by somebody in an umbrella. And gotcha! Wow, Hojo! Getting outplayed by a 16-year-old. Now that's a smoke bomb, Rufus. You can take tips from her. Let My friends go. are back. We've done no, see this. 
Yes. No, she said, let him go. We've done enough. Save the rest for Vincent. That's what I heard. Thanks for that, Alter. <laughs> Johnny. <laughs> See, like, this upcoming scene I really like. This is what I mean about just, like, letting moments breathe. Just, like, letting characters be sad and have their downtime. Stuff like this is really nice. Getting whisper visions? Shh. No, we can't- I'm not! We can't say I'm getting whisper visions because then Sephiroth's gonna take them from me. This is what I live for. Same! Like, these are the important bits, because the characters in this game are so good. Like, this is the shit that, like, really matters. Couldn't find the bartender, so I, uh, helped so I myself. Stole some Costa alcohol. del Sol. Used to make him back at the bar. And here I am, drinking one in its namesake. Feels like it's been ages since I mixed a drink. Since Seventh Heaven. Yes! I picked the good option. I'm gonna ask different ones just to see what she says. Go back? Midgar? I mean, of course. Someday, but I also know I have to move on, at least for now. No telling what the future holds for us. Hey, I can make one for you too, if you want. Nah, I'm good. Next time I ask for a cocktail, it'll be at the new Seventh Heaven. Aww. At least, that's what I promised Barrett. And when exactly did you promise him that? Sometime. All right, Mr. Secretive. You do you. Aww, they're so cute. You guys lost back to go, but most of my fair moments are just people talking. Yeah, exactly! Because, like, the, like, these characters are so special. Not only because they are, you know, nostalgic because they're from, like, 1997, but it's- they, they really are just all so great, like, with or without the nostalgia. And I feel like the writers and the director and all that, everyone who worked on this game, they have the respect for these characters the way that we love them. So when we get to just have moments to chill with them, it's just- it feels like such a highlight. They're A+. Plus. Like, I like that I should be able to pursue them and keep us feeling too. Um, I think it's a lot more complicated than just if they like or dislike each other. I think she could have, but I think... I think Aerith always knew what she had to do. So it was just- I don't know. Like, had- I didn't go down that route. So I flushed out so damn much. Remember Biggs about just Jesse? They had, I know they had like four lines and now like they're straight up memorable. They're in side quests. We constantly see their life stream ghosts. Hey Toma. Hey Chris. Right. Yeah. That's that's you're so right about that, Kazfir. They do just feel like it's the chemistry with each other. The voice actors do a great job, and it's like, Sid and Vincent just joined, and they already do feel like they're part of the group. Like, especially Sid. Sid's like pushing Cloud, he's joking with him. He's like laughing at Yuffie while she's being motion sick. Like, he he's so funny, and even Vincent, like, even though he's kind of like the odd man out personality-wise, he's still helping. Like, he's the one who had the idea to tap in with the Turk stuff, like, he knows Dio. Like, it's... It's not like he's, he's not entirely like super quiet loner. He's more like spectator. Yeah, and like Vincent's side quest fits well. Right, like his, his banter with Barrett was so perfect. Make me want to start my hard run. Do it, it's actually not so bad. It's really fun. The group has another non Cloud loner. <laughs> Cloud and Vincent can bond over their lonerness. I can't wait to see them hang out at a bar together. No, but like, by odd man out, I mean Vincent's, you know, he, he's not like the other characters. He's just, like, trust me guys, I love Vincent. I've never said anything bad about him. I, can't, I guess I just don't know another way to describe him. But, but even somebody like him fits in the group so well. I know, oh my god, like, all, all the quests that you do in this game. Wait, look, hold on. Like, you know when you do the side quests? Well, I guess I don't have an example. Oh, here we go. Like, where it shows, like, Tifa there, Barret, and Red. Like, what if? Oh my god, I can't wait till we start seeing Vincent and Sid in the portraits as well. 
his solo game about. It takes place two years after Admin Children, and it's about an organization called Beat Brown, which was under Midgar the whole time. Um, and it sucks. <laughs> like, the story- like, people say- people harp on the gameplay, and the gameplay is not great, but the story of Dirge is so bad. And they're incorporating story from Dirge into the remake, the Rebirth. I'm not a fan of it, but it is what it is. But I love Vincent. Catchy's an odd man out of anyone. Yeah, he's... He didn't really- he's, he's very odd man out where he's like, kind of like, inserted himself in the group. And him being part of Shinra is a little weird, but... I still fit, think he fits in pretty well now. He's at this point, he comes out of shell, be it slowly throughout his adventure. I just- I can't wait to see him in Turk flashbacks. When he's just gonna be more of like a normal guy. Just like professional normal Turk employee guy. <laughs> Like, I can see him being sort of similar to Rude, in terms of personality. Or like, may maybe like, 90% Rude, 10% Reno, I guess. Not quite. Well, no, Lino's- Lino? Reno's a little laid back. Anyway, I can see him being like that, and then obviously he's been a lot more jaded since his 30 years slumber. No, I can't wait for his side missions. It's because of the United Hojo, this place is in ruins. No, I can't blame him I hope for I our the right actions. Option. I know I should strive to maintain my composure around him, but... Don't sweat it. Anyone would want to punch that smug ass. I keep getting two stars with him. I do. <laughs> Your fists and my fangs. That has to be the third star one. Yeah, that one definitely sounds like the best one. Where is... Let's talk to Aerith. Barret's on the stairs. We've come so far, but it still feels like Midgar's right behind us. We were his prisoners, me and my mom, Ethalna. He kidnapped us because she was a Cetra. A specimen for his experiments. And after what he did to her... After all the pain and the horror he put us through, I hate him. Sometimes, I imagine the things I'd do to him if I got the chance. I start thinking things so dark and ugly that it scares me. <gasps> I do! Well, I just want to see the other options, but I picked the three star last time. Hate. It's normal. Damn, that was really dismissive, it, Cloud. It doesn't feel normal. What I'm trying to say is, worry about the future when it comes. You'll know what to do. And whatever you decide, I'm with you. I appreciate it. Yeah, that star sounded like the one star at the beginning, but the ending kind of seems Shall two we? star. <laughs> no need to worry about the future till it comes. Not until the moment arrives. No, I, I think it like. And when it does, I'll be counting on you. I don't think it changes or play. Well, it like adds to it. Not you. That was to her, my future self. Can't say when you'll meet, but trust me, you'll love her. Foreshadowing? Just you wait. Does she mean that literally like another heiress? <laughs> I don't think she did, but it comes off that way because we know. We know more than anyone here does. <sighs> yeah, I just want to add to my play log. Is like this. Like, it definitely. Look at this. 99% of Tifa. We're already getting more with Aerith, yeah. I technically already did get the Skywheel date with everyone, I just didn't save. I missed an. Oh, I. Did I miss an odd job with her? 
don't know, I'll figure it out later. Hey, Barrick. Hate to say it. That girl really came through for us back there. Unlike me, I couldn't do a damn thing for those poor bastards. What's up, side mode? <gasps> That's all you can do. You tried. That's all you can do. And all that matters That's if you're asking me. That's <laughs> You? Trying to tear me up? Now I've seen everything. Yeah, our jobs are just the names of the story mission, the side missions. Hey, you ready to leave? I guess. Just want to hang out on the beach with my friends some more. Look how pretty that moment is. I love it. Some more of that. Preferably with Vincent. <laughs> Just me and him. Well, guess this ends our fun in the sun. Yeah. Don't oh my god, Shinra middle manager eyes. better love me. I beat his stupid so, Upa challenges. The hotel? Johnny's famous sea smell in. Yeah, Kazakir, there he is. I think it's with the when you complete the VR stuff. Shinra middle manager and admin children. <laughs> He's like the only one that doesn't have Geostigma. And then helps cure it somehow. What's up, guys? Johnny, are yes, you Kairos. Right? Vincent, <laughs> Vincent and middle manager and Cloud. <laughs> That's my party. Know. You see, a few kind girls who saw what happened on the beach. But he's like dancing as his idol animation. And Mayor Capono. Ugh, I'm a moron. How could I be so blind? You I can't wait a lot of money from him, right? Oh, well, I'm gonna Will ask. To pay it back? So, the girls told Capono, keep leeching off our hero and we'll smear your name so bad Shinra will kick you to the curb. And the crazy thing is, it worked. He caved. I am foot loose and dead free, baby. Oh, he's so the breaker class. <laughs> breaker of Shinra middle manager. That's great. <laughs> Johnny, the local hero. Proprietor of the Seaside Inn, soon to be Seven Star Resort Hotel. Now that would be something. You know you gotta get one star before you can get the other six, right? <laughs> <laughs> Very funny, but I got plans. Ow, 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 ow. Well, good for you. <laughs> uh, you okay there? Great. Now watch him fall up the stairs. <laughs> I don't want snaps. Oh, middle ma middle manager guy's in this one for sure. Oh yeah, middle manager has a little girl because Denzel's dad for Christina. Thanks for everything. Yo, I wonder. Nah, I should be the one thanking you. We met you. Denzel's dad. In anyway, this. what's next for you guys? If middle manager had a rooms. son, that'd be a really good theory. Oh, those dudes shuffled off toward Mount Corel this morning. Tried to get the injured ones to stay till they were healthy, but... Corel, huh? Corel it is. Be safe, you guys. Wouldn't want anything to happen to my inaugural guests. Bon voyage. Bon voyage. Imagine, imagine like you go to the cave or whatever, and you find Knights of the Round in. God, I, I really hope you have to actually do a quest to get Knights of the Round instead of doing Chadley's VR bullshit to get it. Cause like, God, it's so cool when you actually do the quest line to get him. Or not quest line, but you get the choke one and you find it in that cave, right? Anyway, I hope how you find it, whenever you find Knights of the Round, <laughs> it's just Shinra Middle Man is just dancing in front of, like in the entrance of the cave. It's like, if you want it, you have to get through me. And he's gonna like challenge you to Queen's Blood or some crap. And he got really good at it. Whatever's gonna be the mini, uh, what, like, the Queen's Blood equivalent, or if they return it for part three. Uh, hello. Hello. Aren't you all forgetting about someone? Glued to his back. And... Yes. Best intro. Some know me as the world's greatest materia hunter. Others, an unstoppable assassin. And the rest, a benevolent and beautiful ninja. But 
Yay! So you have to do intro for the real avalanche, yeah. Cool. <laughs> He's not impressed. Hey, hold it, you spiky hair jerk face. Where do you think you're going? I challenge you to a duel. If I win, you get the honor of serving yours truly. However, if you manage to somehow fluke your way to victory, this amazing ninja will agree to join you. <laughs> what do you say? I'm gonna pick the other options this time. Oh, it's like that, huh? Where's your pride? Your fighting spirit? <laughs> What's the matter? Afraid you're about to catch a beat down? Nope. <laughs> oh, wait. Seriously? I mean, uh, we don't actually have to. Fight. Yeah, so what happens when you pick, is, like, unless you really want the to. other option first? Oh, she just runs Lord away. Or gets, she chickens out. Yeah. <laughs> I like that they keep her OG dialogue options, though. The hell is her deal? You gotta do, like, the original? Oh, you do? For affection? You can just redo hey, this chapter later. Where do you think you're going? Think this through. Are you absolutely 100% certain you don't want me around to save your butts? Oh, look, it's this two star. Nope. Just let me in already. <sighs> Fine then. I know when to take a hint. You don't want me, I'll leave. And you'll never, ever see me again. What is what is it? I mean, I guess I already didn't get 100% affection. Do I say don't go? I never remember her. Oh, uh, the I never memorized how to get her in the OG, like her dialogue. It is have fun. Okay. Have fun. I was joking. You gotta believe me. Please let me. <laughs> yeah, Kairos, that probably was the catalyst. If you really wanna, I won't stop you. Really? You won't? Freaking. Welcome to your chapter six. Welcome to the team, UP. Welcome. <laughs> we did it. You try anything funny, anything. I'll shove you in the sister ray, point it at Wu Tai, and blast you back home. Yeesh. But I hear you. <laughs> it looks so naked, right? Ooh. Stop. <laughs> There's no material for weapons, so she found one. You won't regret this, or my name isn't Yuki Kisaragi. Yay! Oh my god, imagine part three or something. <laughs> okay, let's see over here and. <laughs> well, she even has a spot on the team already. She's so cute. Like, it's like they made room for her. And stand over here. Oh, god damn it. No, I made it weird. Well, we made it. We made it to chapter six. Now we're on chapter seven. I love you, Fee. I know, I'm glad that she's so great in this game and that everyone else loves her now. I love her. She's so funny. I love her and especially her chemistry with characters. Like, her and Barrett and already her and Sid are so funny. Underappreciates how they streamline the weapon abilities versus remake. They seem a lot easier now. A great time for Chadley's VR bullshit. You really think I'm, I want to deal with Chadley right now? I still have to get that freaking ma the third magnify materia. Her adopted dad's the game goes on. Yeah, and now she's getting another adopted dad, adoptive dad, and his name is today. Sid. This girl's got two dads already, minus her real dad that she hates. They've done the impossible made Yuffie and catchy awesome characters. It's been such a nice couple years of of people hating on certain characters and lo loving them now. Like, like Yuffie is a big one, but also Ashley from Resident Evil. Like, no one liked her, now everyone likes her. It's been good. She does feel like a kid. I really like, like, okay, I, I love that Yuffie, they're gone. <laughs> Nowhere to be found. So they get stuck. 
I thought I should have middle manager for a second. Oh, there they are! I didn't even see them! I was looking in the road. Um... Ashley never got in the way of my shots. No, I really like Yuffie the way she is, where she's just like hyperactive kid. But it's like, she's so, she's so ambitious that sometimes it's easy to forget she's such a kid. And then there's moments where she actually looks scared and looks small that like really does remind you that she's a kid. Like when you return to Nibelheim and you find all those like dead Wutai people and she just lo she like genuinely looks really hurt and it's like th to me that like kind of just smacked me in the face again would be like oh damn she's really just a kid having to go through all this but act act like a boss at the same time yeah like moment she runs away on the ship from Genova. i think because that like all the purple mist probably reminded her of nero and sona and she's like afraid because i don't think she I mean, she doesn't really would know what Genova is at that point a lot of child soldiers in this game yeah <laughs> Cloud enlisted when he was like 13, he said. And then she starts trying to explain why Titans would die on purpose. It's so heavy. But that's a normal in this world? Yeah. Over the top, like Barrett, you can feel her in her feelings. Maybe we can love her Barrett's connection. Yeah, they're similar in a lot of ways. But yeah, that's this that's the stuff I really like. Cause it's not even that she's putting on a mask, it's just that she's like, she's not putting on a mask that she's brave. Like, she genuinely is just ambitious, but her, like, 16-year-old self kicks in and it just helps remind you that she shouldn't have to go through this, but this is the world they live in. It's almost like the writers understand the characters, and they conveyed them so well. All right, I'm not going to do Chadley's bullshit today. Because I don't want to, but I will return tomorrow with more of non Chadley bull bullshit. We're on chapter 7! We did it! I'm sorry, Alter. <laughs> Maybe I'll do some off stream, but I, I won't I won't beat it. Um. So you can steal my strats if I have any. I can't imagine my dumbass at 14 setting out either. This world definitely expects a lot differently from kids. Chadley, lose our number. Where even is he? Why did I run here? It's because I know Chadley's. I can't hear Chadley's music here.